Wow, I haven't heard you say you want to kill yourself in a little bit, Will. Are you doing okay? <laughs> I'm doing horrible. Thank you doing you. all right? <laughs> I did the other day. What were we doing, Kevin? I wanted to kill myself. <laughs> um, the fire truck. Was it the fire truck? Why? I don't remember what part of it. The smallest thing. All of it. I think it was just a, every time I would come down, it'd be like, I want to die. I want to die. I want to die. <laughs> You guys are never gonna be able to ask for help. Nobody will trust you. No. Yeah. No, the no. the help. Like, oh, good the one. cry for help will be silent, <laughs> deafening <Exactly>. silence. <laughs> It'll be the Are you doing okay? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Something's wrong. Yeah. With Alan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alan didn't tell me that he was guzzling cum. There must be something wrong. He's brought cum in over twenty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to give away all of his cum. <laughs> He's abandoning his cum. But not in yeah. a perverted way. He just doesn't want it. Then. He doesn't. It out. Call, yeah. call fucking. Are we recording? Uh, 911. Oh. Uh, what, what's the, yeah. what's the a mental health hotline number? The, oh, they just changed just, it. Uh, they one, changed call it. that one if I to ever To something a lot more mem <laughs> memorizable. And uh, I still star. Do they really? That's yeah. Star 69. Why are you going to. Don't think I'm going on another 420. treasure hunt for it. Like, yeah. 988. 988. Is, is that going to get us in trouble? If, are we going to get one of the little flags? Yeah, for probably. Like, oh, fuck. Oh, this really? is the help is available. I don't even want to say what the word is. The blank and crisis lifeline is 988. This is our, this our is public Twitch. service announcement. Stuff like that Safety on third. No, you can't say the S word. Or you, you can't? Get, no, no, they hate the you S word. Say, really? Or, un unalive. unalive. <laughs> well, yeah, they probably I always that thought too. that was just like a meme on TikTok because TikTok is super overly sensitive. Like, Yeah, yeah they yeah. are. You know, people like blur out, like they have the text on the screen and they even like misspell stuff like in text. Yeah. And, yeah. But I, 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 it's like, it's like, is a, this the, did we start the podcast? <clears throat> yeah. I don't know. Do you guys did, do an intro or? No, no. usually we just, <laughs> like, like, when someone did the podcast start? When to start. Uh, Four minutes About ago. Four, four minutes? We've what? already got four minutes. But we said all guess? sorts of horrible shit wow. in the last four minutes. We already got so many trigger warnings and, and automatic. Did we say thing. the S word? I don't think so, <laughs> I think, did we? I think I might have. We can, oh, no. we can, we can just. No. I think you, just, you, with... you have like the sensor beep during the first four straight minutes. Mm, that's just good. Beep. And then you filter out any of the cowards who don't want to stick around for the podcast. I mean, normally we introduce our guests around the four minute mark, so I think normally we don't even introduce yeah. our guests. <laughs> we did forget to introduce Tim. Like, we forgot. The did we really? Yeah, someone in the comments was like, in case anyone was wondering, this is Tamara. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, sorry, Tamara. Okay. Are we the shittiest podcast hosts ever? <laughs> yes. Yes, we are. I like Welcome the idea the that I spoofed in, podcast. though, and like everybody kind of wonders, who they was that? They should know. They should already know, right? They really That's should. Eh, yeah. Eh. Our, our guest needs no introduction. So we won't give him one. Yeah, we won't give him one. He doesn't need it. We're not going <laughs> to no. waste time with that. If no, you don't know no. who the guest is, eat shit. Yeah. Eat shit and Actually, die. Eat shit and, and call die. 988 to help. I'm sorry yeah. you're not, you're not <laughs> get, cultured enough. Your, get the hell who you need. There, there is a hotline for knowing who the safety third guest is of the yes. week. And you do have to figure out the number. <laughs> All right, Card, uh, you have something that you have to figure out now. How do we create a phone hotline for people to call into? The... Let's give them my phone. Okay, there okay, we yeah. go. That's a horrible mistake. So that the you're hotline right is, now. is Card's phone number. And it'll be like, I think it was Tamara. <laughs> Which okay. week are you talking about? I feel like we got to defend ourselves. Uh, we were like getting kicked out of that Airbnb. The cleaners yeah. were yeah, there. Knocking on the door. Yeah. We were in a rush. We were in a hurry. We were dealing with some stuff. And we, we had just been tortured by Mark Rober for like a week straight. We <laughs> yeah. were not in the right state of mind. Yeah. He had just refused to come to the podcast. Oh, again. my God. He was like, I already did that. And it was probably the <laughs> you, most. You know, the, the meme like, from no, the office wasn't. with Jim staring through the blinds. That was literally the cleaning lady like up on the front yeah. door, just like looking through the front door. I hope that excuse in. is good enough. <laughs> Uh, also, we're just really good friends with Tamara. We forgot to introduce her. Yeah. Do we yeah. learn we're from our mistake so or do we double down? I think we're doubling down. That's yeah. I'm a big. That's fan how you of do it. That's down. what I've learned. You just keep doubling down. Otherwise, people keep asking you to do stuff because they know you'll do it. But if you just, that's why I don't answer texts. <laughs> so that people don't ask me to do things. <laughs> I've learned. I don't even bother anymore. I'm just like, oh. What do you think, Doug? I think. Well, I was, oh, well, you kind of ruined it. I was gonna oh, say you should just ah. drop. You should drop like incorrect names throughout the podcast to so uh, make it more of like an adventure. They have to figure it out. Greg. I feel like that's more. What if we just call you by? your last name doug oh, uh, right 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 um but the doug, first name doug thing is to be sort of like mystery adventure to figure out yeah that's not actually your last name uh no it's not okay it's just your name twice uh yeah that's really clever thank you i'm oh, not man. being sarcastic how did you come up with that 
I had a different name called uh, the original YouTube name I did was Glutus, which is an anagram of Douglas. And turns mm. out that is not very marketable because nobody knows how to spell it or yes. say it. It just and sounds like butt. I yeah. Talk, yeah. I talked to another YouTuber like 2016 or whatever who has gently said, yeah, it's not good. And then I was like, oh, OK. Actually, I'll just say it was Disguised Toast. And then he mm. he is a very punchy name. And he was yeah. so he like gave me advice and he was very kind about it. But it was like, look, Disguised Toast is this really memorable, punchy thing. Mm -hmm. There's a little like icon that I have that's memorable. You should do something like that. So years later, I relaunched my YouTube channel. Disguised and like, bread. Disguised mm -hmm. toast is like right. one of those like auto generated yeah. And he said names. he did send me a, a, a cease and desist. And so I <laughs> dug toast. Dug twice. Dug toast. <laughs> uh, st stinky shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, a focused marmalade. It's like, I like it's that. like one of those mm. Xbox auto generated names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what about? Okay, here. What if what if someone wants to name their channel? Stick with me sufficiently advanced what do you what do you think about that one how do you feel about that one i think it could use a few dugs to be honest uh, yeah. dugly advanced no sufficiently no dug sufficiently dug is, <laughs> is enough yeah i mean the the channels i have are just have increasing dugs in the title and oh, that's so great. That's at some excellent. point we have dug 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 <laughs> that's really good and then oh we started God. the fourth you really yeah that's fucking awesome the, the fourth channel it's very confusing talking to sponsors they really don't understand <laughs> the distinction because we'll be like oh actually i don't really want to do it on Doug, Doug, we could do put you on Doug, 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 and they're like, "What? What does that mean? What is the difference?" And they're like, "Well, no, no, no." Like, clearly, you're not a true fan, even though your email opened yeah. with how much you like my video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not sending some lack of authenticity, Timu. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Greg from Timu, we love the inspiration that you put onto your channel. We would love to work with you a lot. We do not understand what you mean by duck, 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 duck. Yeah. I, it's, it can be so frustrating to realize they don't watch your stuff, but I also think that a lot of times they would not sponsor you if they actually watched your stuff. <laughs> Just like the royal you, like generally. That's a good point. I put a gun in um, my most recent sponsor ad I did. That's it was good. It was for... Uh, am I allowed to say that? It's <laughs> yeah. not for Timo. The five dollar Timo gun. It, um, it was for for Factor, and then uh, the it showed me they're like, you need to to have footage of you like getting a meal and cooking mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. So I opened up the refrigerator, and the only thing in it in the shot was toilet paper and a gun <laughs> sitting next to a meal. <laughs> That's funny. I thought yeah. it was great. Um, it's like I not, not only what Did they get mad. They got mad. They said cowards. cowards. They, they uh. said what you can't have a gun in your fridge. Like why can't I have a gun in my? Yeah, this fridge? is this America. Is America. <laughs> right, and uh, literally you should go to Jeffy. <laughs> Don't have a gun in your fridge. Yeah. You think it's dangerous. What if you are going for the milk and that's yeah. when your roommate decides to yeah. attack you? Yeah. Exactly. You have to have guns everywhere. everywhere. That's why there's one in the microwave. Fridge that's one. There's one in the fridge. Yeah. Shower gun. Shower gun. Shower gun. You should keep a couple of guns in the podcast room. There are. We yeah. do? I don't know oh, where God. they are. I feel there's a, safer already. I there's a compound you guys, bow back there, yeah. too. <laughs> they're, they're completely lost. <laughs> Like on your bidet over there, you yes. have another button, which is that the gun, the gun, gun pops up. Yes. Yeah. yeah, to shoot. Boom. If, you're, yeah. in case your asshole's not cooperating. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You just intimidated a little right. bit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I gotta, go. There's like spiders and stuff that crawl around in there, right? You yeah. Just, you need to be on alert. There are spiders. This is America. There. There, we have spiders here. I got an email from Timu. Uh, God, I feel like I should find it. It was asking. They're like, oh, we're doing. Okay. I mean, what i what it is versus how i interpreted it on purpose are two different things they were saying that they're doing a big super bowl commercial and oh, that they wanted do to that. do a collaboration because it would be a good opportunity since there would be a lot of timu traffic after the super bowl commercial aired does that make sense they're like oh we're yeah. we're there's gonna be a lot of timu yeah. seo and then if you do a timu so you thing, should get on that train, get on the train. That yeah. and i said i replied you, i said i would love to be in your super bowl commercial <laughs> 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 and then it took a couple of days and the person responded like, oh, I'm so sorry for the misunderstanding. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's I don't know. I think that's probably Did you the hardball. Most, uh, I, I kept I played dumb. I don't remember how the chain went, but I, I told them, like, just let me know when, like when and where I need to be. <laughs> and I'm like super excited. Like, you don't even need to pay me. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ask like, am I in the, like, am I in the halftime show, or is it just going to be displayed later? I I don't think they let me go very far. I think you should email them now and be like, hey, I just know. so you know, the Super Bowl's over. I still haven't heard haven't from you guys. This is still happening. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm. Who should I send my invoice? To? <laughs> <laughs> That's the most valuable. Ever but you send a picture man. of yourself in full football pads, yeah. and you're like, God, I've been waiting for weeks. Is this a happening? Sexy soon? football outfit I bought on Demo. <laughs> 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 we should send him an invoice after this podcast. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right, we no. just mentioned yeah. their name, you know, neutrally, maybe not positively. It's like a reverse sponsorship. You saw, you yeah. saw the yeah. meme I sent the other day. 
Uh, which I one? I should post it in the Discord. We can have it. I'll, I'll, we'll just post it for the video viewers. It was the Timu one. It was like kind of after the bridge collapse in Baltimore. It was like oh, three yeah. shipping God. containers in the water. And it's uh-huh. like Timu, Timu reportedly lost $68. Six- in oh, yeah. nice. <laughs> 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 after three shipping containers. <laughs> 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 I've, I've never even looked at the site. I only like see it through memes and like TikTok. Like, is it just like AliExpress? Like, you just buy, yeah, like, basically. It's gotta be. Like, it's wish like another or whatever. Bird. Like, Wish. Huh. Yeah. They're all kind of the same. I've, I haven't ordered from Timu, but they're all the same. It's like, number one, Timu is kind of sketchy because it's like you go on the website and there's like a wheel that spins and it's like, wow, you get 50% yeah, off never your first order. Wow. You got to download the app. It, I want to win 50% off but, my first but order. But the thing is, everything's like marked up, right? So I think that there's like a lot of trickery. It's almost mm. like a, the whole website is a base, basically a bait and switch. Do you think they have Disney themed flashlights or do they not have? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Though? But they probably call them like finger massagers or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> so are those but those are 50 percent off because yeah, I'm in. Only if you get yeah. the, if it spins if you on get your the first visit or whatever. It's one of the yeah. wheel spins. You get a free Disney flashlight with your order. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, uh, Timu. I I would do a video with you for a five hundred thousand dollars, and I will say such good things about you. <laughs> There's it like at some point you can't. I put the meme in there, so now we can have it in the episode. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> um, you like if you work with a certain brand, like you, you can literally do anything. Like it doesn't even matter. Like if you mm. did a Timu ad, like mm-hmm. no, that people would like see right through it as like a big joke, and it would just be a huge win for you. <laughs> yeah. You could go like Raid the- Shadow Legends. Yeah, Raid yeah Shadow yeah. Legends. I think they don't even really do sponsorships anymore. Yeah, I, I miss think. I miss the Raid Shadow Legends. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you ever you ever get on that that train? Do you ever do it? Oh, that's do you ever thing. succumb to I, the? How where are we past the um? What's it called? The uh, uh, statute of limitations. Yeah. <laughs> Not. Qu- it's another like two years. Oh, okay. Like another. So I don't talk about that one yet. <laughs> okay. uh, I have. I did do an established titles. I did yeah. established titles. I felt. Nothing. I okay. felt no shame. The heat, because the heat died a- down. I think we can be honest about the established title. Thing. Yeah. yeah. Who fucking cares? <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> it's this such is a, a fucking shit post, you moron. If it's if it's yeah. if this comes as a surprise to you, you're an idiot. Like, of course you're not getting like. What do you want to go like live oh on a square God. foot of land in, in the Scotland Highlands? Like, it's I, a joke. It's a gag gift. That channel that there was like that one channel that did like that that huge expose and they did like a couple follow ups and like those were the only videos on their channel that like that like performed. They just kind yeah. of kept yeah. like doubling and tripling down on it. At one point, there was like a Google Doc that like I was on as like a list of like yeah. these are the creators yes. that took established title sponsorships. Yeah. What do you They're, feel about how do you feel about that? <laughs> so passionately? I, I mean, I think the, the more interesting thing is that there's a whole ecosystem around people who just like this scam happened, right? There's like a yeah. scam mm-hmm. YouTube yeah, like center now. So bad. Do you, I don't know if you guys watch speedrunning content, but mm. most speedrunning content, it used to be like, here's how you play Zelda really fast. It's, I've played this for 8,000 hours and I don't ever leave my house and that's how I was able to get the world record. And I say that respectfully. Like, it's, you know, it's cool. Like, this is what I had to do to get this record. And now it's just like, this person cheated? Mario 64 cheater. Like, blindfolded yeah. person was actually yeah. cheating the whole time. It's yeah. all just cheating drama. It's like, yeah. that is salacious and cool, but um, it's, I, if, I if know, it's cares, all the content is about like negativity like right, I, I don't right, know right, right. I, I, That's I was talking to someone the other day that um a lot of the meta on, on line is just like negativity and it's not you know they always say like anger is like who did the anger video someone did a, a really good anger, anger was it video? was it tom scott or was it like somebody did a video about mm-hmm. how like anger is such a powerful way to get people to interact with your content yeah yeah, yeah. and not saying that like I, I think it's a little bit broader than just like like something bad happened this person's bad it's like criticisms of things yeah. are are in that realm as well and so if you say i broke a new record that doesn't really tickle people's brains whereas anger and, and negativity will almost always get people to respond because your brain oh, yeah. is wired yeah. for yeah. that yeah. kind of it's drama, like drama. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's there there was there's this book that uh nigel actually recommended to me called contagious mm-hmm. and so it talks about sort of how things become viral and one of the things was that like people are more likely to share things if their body is just physiologically active Mm -hmm. and that's why anger works so well Mm. but like they Uh. there was a study where people are just as likely to like or sort of like they're also more likely proportionally to share things if they're just on a treadmill so like if you just have someone That's on a laptop so and they're like doing yeah. a light jog, it's the literally same as them being a little bit angry because their heart rate is up and they're like they're huh. actually activated. The one emotion 
it turns out that doesn't get people to share stuff horny. is if you make the no horny they'll share stuff because you're still you're still that. physiologically activated. It's I think we, we have to do guys. Button. We have to make people horny. That's there why we There shouldn't show be a off share button feet. next to this. <laughs> oh yeah, have that's we why there's a share button. Have we checked our only feet? Did the score go up after that? After oh, the that wiki episode? feet. I don't know. Yeah. I better have. Cause, cause we're we're still trailing behind. Like I did a thing. Who has like what, like a five almost? Like a yeah. four point eight. Yeah. Then Ludwig broke the site somehow. He's got like a Over five point fifteen. <laughs> Damn. What is the other emotion? The only one that doesn't get people to share things more often is sadness. Because when people are sad, they actually are. They this become dog less dog died. <laughs> well, so that's the key. So you got to make them angry about exactly. the dog. So oh, the dog that's dies, interesting. This dog got run died. over by Keemstar. Because, yeah. because of something Twelve to votes? make people mad. Wow, wow that's fascinating. I'm 4.7. I can't tell if that's higher or lower than where I think it's, it's, it still it says only 12, 12 votes. So nobody I don't nobody think cares. anybody did nobody it. Cares nobody did it. feet. <laughs> How many votes do I have? You've got 100. I have 100 votes? Eat shit. Wow. Fuck Look me. at those dogs barking. <laughs> Guys, I feel so out of place. I don't know the meta oh, of WikiFeet. How's the scoring work? Oh, well, let's see is? if you're on here. No, no. nothing. Well, because I think Doug Doug just simplified to Doug. But, huh. Do you have a real name? I <laughs> or- <laughs> I think I think Are my you not, I do not share that. No, no, no. I do. So I do have a real name. Yeah. Here, let's, I'll um, rate your feet right oh, now. Wait, okay. Yeah, there's there's some that's something. Like I'm in a bunny suit. And I'll that give one, you like so. a four point what are you three. Oh, you're, the shirt's the same color as your skin. It kind of. Yeah, it's a sexy bunny suit. That's awesome. I bought it off Timu. Actually, I bought it off Amazon. This is activating I me. I would share that. Here, t- say, type I'm in. About to hop on I was saying, horny, horny's one of the emotions. Go back if you to throw it up, search for me again, Ford. I think it's my name, my actual name. Kohler, K O H L E R. Heir to yeah. the Kohler toilet empire. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin's actually a Oh my adult. god, I got 4.09. Dude. Oh, that's, come a, on. that's a fucking war crime. Gross. How many votes? That should be at least 10. a 4.1. <laughs> Those aren't even pictures of your feet. Are they? Uh, they're, 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 yeah. Oh, they are. They are. They're okay, in okay. there. They're like, yeah. I was oh, expecting yeah. like a photo shoot of them, not just you're in a pool. I'll, I'll give them a photo. That's shoot. A, that's a good that was one. pouring on molten aluminum barefoot because everybody always comments on it. Mm, that's yeah. pretty good. Legend. <laughs> I, probably, I did that before I did a thing. Did it. Barefoot. <laughs> I he did a thing barefoot. before he did a thing. He stole barefoot foundry metal work. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> you had the niche. And then he came in and took it. That's all I He had. started doing things. And then, <laughs> but you did things first. I did things first, I think. <laughs> But that's that's why that's why the internet is bad because we we have monkey brains and yeah like that that's that's just how the whole thing operates. Even when you know, like I know that right, and I still click drama stuff. Like I'm not yeah, above it, yeah. right? Of course, and it's I, so, I it's I so would, compelling. Oh. I would definitely do a scam title. I think I actually I'm gonna do a scam title video about the whole uh, Second City Prince thing. Yeah, like the, the, the merch company. Did you that do any stuff with them? No, 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 no. Escaped that. Yeah. No, I, I. Some people got super boned. Yeah, I, yeah. I think really, I lost really like a yeah. thousand plush walruses. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, yeah. Ouchie. Mm. So that one is like, like that one. It's like, it's not, it's not really a scam, but it's kind of like, how do you get people to care enough to click on it unless you say that it's, it's like, a scam. yeah. I think because yeah. I do a lot of ChatGPT stuff right now. Mm, I need, yeah. I think I need to start opening with getting ChatGPT to say something like racist, and then, yeah. and that's, <laughs> that's the thumbnail, good. and yeah. then yeah. it, and then it goes into like, oh, we're playing chess or whatever. <laughs> but we yeah, start yeah. out with like, oh, he said this about famous chess players. As long yeah. as it feels satisfying in some way, like people will just forget what they clicked on as long as they're satisfied somehow on the way, like in the video. I'm mm. so numb to all the scams stuff yeah. like all the drama videos yeah, I, now i think it's maybe stopped me from like watching a lot of youtube yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's it's starting yeah like or this to... is illegal what we did to this workshop is illegal or something like this yeah. and i'm like bro like I what? Remember... what could you possibly what what could you do like what is this did you like do an actual shotgun booby trap in your wood shop otherwise <laughs> i don't care <laughs> how yeah. much do you guys i'm curious as as fellow uh youtubers as how, fellow criminals as fellow cr- yeah, youtube yeah. criminals um how much do you feel like what you would like to make a th- at your thumbnails differs uh-huh. from how you end up making them in order, right? Because obviously there's there's a, a spectrum, right? Of like what, like if you're like me, what I would love to do is not make a thumbnail yeah, at all, right? Like I that would be the thumbnail. ideal, right? That's why I like thumbnail. shorts. So obviously yeah, even you have to lay them somewhere. Still, mm, you can still choose thumbnails. I don't yeah, want to know. I don't want to yeah. know. I just, I upload it and that's the thumbnail. I don't think about it's it. It's like you yet another thing mobile. you're supposed you to optimize. Yeah. Right? You are supposed to if you really care, even though it's less important. Yeah. right. But there's a spectrum of not doing a thumbnail to 
let's say the mystery, AB, you know, crazy A/B testing, that, right, like right, like yeah. you know, yeah. going totally nuts, custom yeah. thing, hitting all the buttons. It's angry. It's got your face. It's got the YouTube thing. Whatever. Where do you where do you feel like you land on that? Definitely uh, no thumbnail. Would like to not make a thumbnail. I but like. What do you end up doing, right? Because oh, I'm definitely end, oh. for, like, <laughs> I like I like push it. But there's a lot of times I'm like, can we not use that face? It's such a YouTube face. Yeah. But then there's times like, yeah. I got it right. It's the gig. Like you don't want to. It's, but it's yeah. bad. I think what I usually end up doing is the lowest possible like the worst version of trying to make a thumbnail is usually what i end up doing mm. so it's like i don't do like like the multiple like like i usually don't do a lot of different thumbnails and it's usually like i'm not very good at photoshop so it's like i yeah. make a thumbnail it's just not composited very I'm well i'm good at photoshop it's like Will's very good at Photoshop. Yeah. Will is. I sharpened my Photoshop teeth in high school making shitty pictures of people. <laughs> in, in, well, they they call them deep fakes now. Yeah. yeah. Dude, you know, I have I have a strong opinion about that because it took a lot of effort to make photos look mediocre. <laughs> and being able to do that by just like typing some shit in is yeah. bullshit. See, you know, the yeah. but even just even just the like the generative fill to just like extend backgrounds oh, for like crazy. Photoshop. Yeah. Dude, do you, know, you know how many hours insane. it took me to Photoshop a naked version of my principal in high school? <laughs> Uh, five hours. <laughs> and Do you know where I spent most of those hours? <laughs> Kids these days don't know how good they have it. Yeah. Can we get a chart about which body part had the most hours? Where what percentage? His penis. Okay. <laughs> that was four that hours and fifty nine minutes. Of my yeah. Was it a girl or a guy? <laughs> Man, that's crazy. How much that like. Any kid is going to be able to Photoshop their principal naked like that. Yeah. In an instant. Immediately. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's crazy. Get ready for it. It's coming. Yes. It already is. Yeah. I'm coming. <laughs> Do you think it's ever going to get a, get to a point where it's just like normalized and nobody cares about it anymore? Dude, I, don't, I, I actually we're, don't know. We're, I think we're well on the way, basically. I mean, it's like, like even sort of like the whole... Like, cause there was, there was like, I feel like there was a minute, like a year or two ago where they're like on Twitter, especially where people were like posting, they're like AI generated, like, like cartoon Faces, yeah. yeah. And mm -hmm. people would like sort of respond angrily, like this is taking jobs away from the, and I feel like there's maybe a little less of that. Like Dude, as time goes on. I think the people that are angry about mm -hmm. AI taking jobs from people are like so far off base of what the actual nightmare is. Like, it's not the jobs I'm worried about. It's the, like, absolute manipulation of, like, oh, yeah. children that terrifies me. Like, actually. Yeah. Like, actually, children are, like, the dumbest people in society. <laughs> and there is zero regulation on just pumping them full of computer generated garbage. Like there's, yeah. there's no publisher. There's nobody that has any semblance of like, like, I don't know, ethics or liability. Like if PBS making shows for kids, it wouldn't Dude, let they're any go of out the of crap business. that flies on YouTube happen. Yeah. Dude, they're definitely, how do you compete with that? Yeah. Like, I don't know. I think, uh, we talked a lot about it during the uh, the Nile Green stuff, and and people got mad at us. But I think a lot of what we said now is like becoming more prevalent and obvious. I think we have kind of a unique like look into it, like because you know making content is like manipulating people, and you know the tricks, you know how it works, and so when you see something like that, you kind of like, uh oh, this is a little bit, this is like interesting. Like I th I think it's going to become a lot more normalized, and like people aren't going to care about it anymore. Like, have what, you ever you, what does that mean? Though? So I mean, like I think people are literally going to see this stuff and just say like like it doesn't interest them at all like yeah. it doesn't register as like anything worthy of their like attention or like like i see stuff online it's like you know celebrity deep fakes and stuff yeah. like that it's like i don't care about what about that. when it's like, like buried though when it's sort of like it like the main content is something that is more real but then there's like like layers in it that are i think you might well, get to the point where people just don't care if like they they won't even care if it's real or if it's not. Okay, have you ever seen like the yeah that's like, what I'm saying like the Facebook like pages where it's like obviously AI generated pictures of like like a little black kid with like a sculpture yeah. made out of water bottles yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and Those or are like crazy like 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 an old man with like a, a sand sculpture of Jesus and it's like yeah. in the most insane amazing thing. I mean it's so it's like too yeah. good. It's so good that it's obviously yeah, and yeah. they they yeah. will get like millions of likes and thousands of comments presumably from like boomers yeah, yeah. who yeah. like yeah. That's I, the thing. It's it's the boomers who don't realize. Or I don't know. I don't know even know if they don't realize or if they just don't care. I think they might literally see like a fake looking picture of a sandcastle Jesus and go, oh. I, "That's cool, cool picture." Like without like if you told them it was AI, they'd be like, 
Who cares? It's cool. Cool Jesus that, yeah, yeah. Who is AI? <laughs> <laughs> like, I you, like them. You know, on news sites, how you see like, you know, uh, California doctor figures out a way to cure tinnitus. And yeah. it's like, they're trying to silence him. It's like, I'm never going to click on that. It's no. like, I feel like that's how. But your stupid ass. That's how younger are. people yeah. are going to see like this AI stuff when they get older. Well, yeah, because we're moving from a it's, default of you can trust video yeah. right yeah. pictures right that's how we yeah. as society has worked since the advent of photography and video right is it is evidence you, right it's like you right, know yeah, that yeah. Some, it is evidence there's that a, is truth right yeah. if you see a video of a person saying a thing like a politician or whatever like yeah. that means it did happen and we have in the course of what like 12 yeah. months we are moving from that is the one thing that you can trust and is truth to absolutely yeah. not at all that's like a anything. crazy fast yeah. transition right yeah. and so i think boomers are probably just you know older people are going to be are going to take longer to adjust and by the end of, I would say 2024, like by the end of this year, nobody will trust a single thing on the adjust, internet. When you say adjust, you mean when they die? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably. They finally understand. By the end of 2024. There, there needs to be like a scandal, like a huge scandal yeah. where like, I, I don't know, some major politician is a sex tape release mm -hmm. or something like that to the point that every news outlet covers it and basically says you can't trust anything yeah. anymore. And then finally it starts to shift. Oh, yeah, maybe that's what? this year. Maybe we'll get yeah. that for this election. Maybe we're cool. going to be free of all the scandals now. I want to see a Joe Biden I won't have Trump to hear about sex it. tape release. I want to see a, a release of Donald that sex Trump. Tape. I don't want to AI. <laughs> Joe <Donald> Biden. <laughs> <laughs> Pounds. Wait, 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 wait. I think I think you're onto something. <laughs> Joe Biden cheating scandal <laughs> with Donald Trump <laughs> slammed on the Senate floor. <laughs> Dunking. I dude, I hate those. <laughs> I I because I mean there's already those fucking like the the channels that do like the presidents playing like Mario Party. Yeah, or yeah, that's fun. All yeah. you need is them fucking each other. It's the same thing. <laughs> I'm sure that exists, right? Yeah, it's this gone. has to. What we were talking about has to exist right now. There's no way that no people have not made this. Yeah, <laughs> I I think that like when when all the you know i think tom scott was like one of the first sources where i saw like the gpt stuff right remember mm -hmm. he he did something where it was like pr making predictions of weird places and right, then he did an right, update right, right. to it where it was like exponentially better it was like when it went from like two to three or, or however yeah, or one yeah. to two and when you saw that when i saw that progression happen i was like this is really cool like mm -hmm. there's like all sorts of yeah. cool stuff you can do with this. I remember meeting this guy who made the suction cups the, that you used for the Spider-Man or that Jake used for the Spider-Man. Oh, oh you like for did. picking oh, up yeah, the yeah. Yeah. Grabos. Yeah. Or, I, yeah, I met, yeah, I I met the guy who invented those. Dude, he's made so much money off those things. They sell crazy. Well, they're right. really cool. They're, they're really, really cool. I, I I bought two of them just completely unmodified yeah. and just attached them to shoes. Yeah. And I walked on the ceiling. They're pretty expensive down. too. Yeah. Like they're really good like they're really well made though. I, they're, yeah. they're super nice. I mean yeah they're, they're like a couple hundred bucks yeah they're kind of like yeah. the, I feel like the like, no but I'm saying like they're tool. like that expensive and people buy them because like they're, they're good yeah. Yeah. yeah they're really good yeah and they're making he was like making some other cool tools too it was like a like a, a pneumatic version of a mag drill which is like mm. a big magnetic drill press that like you stick to a steel oh. beam and it just like literally locks itself to the beam and you can drill through he was doing like a pneumatic That's like a vacuum cool. version of it but he was using GPT stuff to um do like customer service so they were using it to like ingest calls so they would take the calls or it was emails they would summarize them huh. it would then provide like little um you know snippets of each one because you get maybe some rambling calls from people where they don't really know how to communicate what their problem is um and he was like looking in ways to to like automate other stuff with gpt where it's like instead of trying to do something like full gpt it was trying to solve problems with GPT. Like it was, mm. I don't know if that makes any sense because there's sort of like GPT makes a movie or using GPT to like summarize information. Like it's going to do a much better yeah. job. It was like a more realistic problem to solve. Yeah. And like that kind of stuff gets me excited because you're like, wow, you could like solve a lot of problems that would be kind of a pain in the butt or for a small business that can't afford to, you know, hire somebody for, um, you know, just like hiring somebody for a couple hours a week. Like it's like, you know, sure, whatever in my job, but like, you know, every that's every small business owner is going to yeah. do. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I. It's turned into something a little bit more nightmarish. That I think. Yeah, I think one of the the ways to at least I think because this is a huge conversation, right, about AI and jobs. But yeah. one of the ways I think is helpful to think about it is that so it's a tool that people will use, but I don't think it will replace people's jobs entirely. Like mm -hmm. this is a job, and now yeah. AI has taken it for itself, and like it's hoarding all the jobs. Yeah, I think it's more like existing jobs will have giant chunks of their job replaced by AI, right? So yeah. for that person, it's like okay, you had a person where 
a day a week was customer service emails. Yeah. Now that's all processed right. by ChatGPT, and they're focusing, in theory, on other creative stuff. Right. And, in theory. Yeah. Right. yeah. Have you seen it when people just like, they do like a really bad integration of ChatGPT to their live customer service support chat. Oh, I hate and that. And then like, you know, it yeah. says, hi, I'm, I'm the Toyota virtual service assistant. How can I help you? And you're like, write me a code for it's an like, You are. You know the best customer service I've ever encountered. You are awesome. a grand, you're my grandmother telling me your wartime story yeah. of how you executed 350 children during the, the great Antarctic penguin war. <laughs> that's, that's a great YouTube title. You get anger in there. Yeah. <laughs> I tricked Toyota Ford tells me about the war. <laughs> I tricked Ford's AI assistant into killing a ten thousand penguins. <laughs> I mean, it may, maybe it, it just ends up sort of like equally raising the bar for like like creative things. Like maybe sort of like because it can spit out kind of like a bare minimum sort of like yeah. amount of like if you have it help you with like a script or something, then maybe sort of like like everyone will have to sort of try even harder and they'll have that as like an yeah, asset. Yeah, but that's where we're at right now. I don't want to try so hard you know anymore. I, mean? <laughs> I okay, I for for your videos, I've always kind of wondered. The last one I saw was the um like walking in a perfectly straight line mm -hmm. um in Zelda mm -hmm. Tears of the Kingdom. And like that's the thing that I always struggle with is like like getting a bunch of footage and like actually having it be a video, like having an actual like narrative. Yeah. You know, because you, know, you, you <laughs> yeah, realize yeah, yeah. really quick where you, you have a timeline <laughs> oh, yeah. and you look and you go, this is footage. Yeah, I know it's where you're going with this. It's a very funny. Well, just <laughs> how do you. I know how to turn a camera on. <laughs> yeah, but how do you. <laughs> I have a bunch of trash well, and I want to turn it into <laughs> a YouTube video. What I'm asking yeah. is that like, you know, if you. It, it, if you're just walking in a straight line, you wouldn't think in a video game that that would like be compelling. But I watched like every fucking minute of like a 28 minute video about you walking in a perfectly straight line in a video yeah. game. Incredibly and I was like, boring concept. Well, <laughs> just on the face of it. Yeah, yeah. But how do you do that? <laughs> What's the secret? Yeah. Uh, tell us. Tell us the secret. I don't know. I just feel like, you know, it's just it's just storytelling. I think people have different Fuck. strengths. <laughs> yeah. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, not to skill issue. Skill um, issue. Maybe God. you just have brain damage. I no, I definitely do. Because like yeah. everybody else can do that. Just so you oh, know, like God. yeah, and you just outed yourself. Uh, it's like the the like like wait, everyone else can imagine images in their head. No, yeah, 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 that <laughs> Who? Oh God. I mean, it's just a story arc, right? You just got to think about the beginning. I, I think what what I like doing with my stuff um, is is not necessarily crazy tech things, but designing some kind of story narrative right. for something that is not necessarily super interesting. And then Did you, you know, have goals before you started filming or recording. So if I, if I think of like a stream or an idea, if it's like, okay, I made a Skyrim mod, I'm going to try mm -hmm. to achieve this thing. There's generally some sense of like, okay, what would, what would be an interesting start that showcases the concept in a, in a variety of ways, then a middle section where it can kind of be floundering and I'm mm -hmm. making cock jokes with Twitch chat right, or whatever. Right. And then how does it conclude in some way? So I'll think about like, okay, in the game, what are, what are specific areas or locations or quests mm. that would tie in with the theme that I've come up with, like with the oh. mod, with the challenge mm. that lean in it, into it in some way. And so that's ahead of time. That's like, yes, but that, even start. Yeah. I'd of. say it's probably 70% that, and then it's 30% just rolling with weird shit that comes up along the way. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. And I think, I mean, you can definitely like pre-plan all that stuff. I mean, I'm in a weird spot now where like, I started just doing YouTube, like, you know, on its own. And then now I'm streaming things that we then turn into YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. There's still a lot of thought about turning that into a narrative. And like, we spend a lot of effort, you know, reviewing the stream, talking about the different story points, adding script, all that stuff to enhance mm -hmm. that. But I think from the get go, there's most of the time trying to think of like, okay, where does this end in a satisfying way? You know, I think one of the problems we have is that making something there always is a story, but our story focuses on making something. And so you, you like, it's, it's like the making stuff usually solves a problem. Yeah. But instead of making a thing being the solution to our problem, yeah. making the thing becomes the problem. <laughs> and so like, our, we try to like, there's like this arc that happens about making a thing. Yeah. There's like a classic Michael Reeves one where he's like, Ooga Booga caveman brain. Mm -hmm. I thought metal's strong, but metal's fucking weak. Yeah. And he's like hanging on to this like aluminum the, 40, the surgery robot. Yeah, like the he, like, 80 20. To build the frame. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Out of like. It's got like a lot of. It's like really wobbly. Yeah, the extruded yeah. aluminum with like, you know, a couple of screws holding each corner together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's like, 
I, I think that sometimes like the, the video that I've done, I think that has probably like the best story um, that, and I'm saying that because the, the old people in my life uh, said it was good and that they never say that about any of my other videos is the raccoon video. <laughs> oh yeah. And I'm like, that's actually the only video we've ever done where we laid out the uh, like story storyline and we did yeah. the, the Dan Harmon, mm. Rick and Morty story. Oh, my yeah, God. yeah. 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 I'm going to, I, I want to take a little bit of credit for the idea of it being uh to practice having a kid. Yeah. Cause I pitched that without even knowing at the time that I didn't know either. <laughs> <laughs> None of us. Knew, well, I I think one person knew, but I guess nobody else knew. No, I I, I have I ever said when I found out. Uh, was it? I think was it the morning that the, the morning that the raccoon up? came to the house. <laughs> no way. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And I was like, oh Dude. shit, that video was way more real. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um, but I think like like that had nothing to do with building anything. It was yeah. like there was yeah. some building in it. Like they did the the rack like this <laughs> this raccoon tail. I had this like butt plug raccoon tail that I bought and I was oh, pissed yeah. off that it didn't come with a mount. Because <laughs> I mean, I mean, like, like, what, what the fuck am I supposed to do with this? And so I like 3D printed this thing that like grabbed onto it and then you hook it on your belt buckle. <laughs> you coward. I know. <laughs> you fucking coward. No, that was such a good joke. <laughs> um, that's the only thing I built and I barely showed any of it and it's like, oh, I'm telling a story about something that isn't building something and it actually... You know, you can like go through human emotions because it's me trying to do something, not yeah, me yeah. trying to build something. And so it's like, I don't want to say it's a, a more of a real story because building stuff can be a real story too. It just is like more relatable maybe. And you, you're focused on the right stuff instead of I have the wrong screw and it. I need a different screw. Yeah. It, it can be really easy to focus on like the results more than anything. Like, 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 Oh, oh yeah. Like, I need this thing to like, when it's done, That's, it's gotta be really cool. And it's gotta do this thing really well. Um, yeah. It's like the end of your video is you imagine it as like the thing. Yeah. Like I made, I made the thing. But that's not really like I feel like the problem. A video like walking across in a straight line. Yeah. The the map. Um it was Breath of the Wild, right? Or was mm -hmm. it uh, Tears or of the King? Yeah. Yeah. Um, same thing. Same thing. I, I haven't <laughs> I haven't played that one. Uh you are not really giving a shit about the end of the video because it's telling you the progression of the video in the title and thumbnail. Whereas I built something is mm -hmm. like, oh, the interesting thing happens at the end. Yeah. Right. Like the concept you get people to click into for. Yeah. Is the payoff. Yeah. But yours, like, what's the payoff? Like, it's the whole thing. Yes. I think this is. I, so I thought about this. I, there's. It's basically there are kind of two different styles, which is one that you make a thing and the story is you making the thing and the end yeah. is here it is finished. Yeah. And then another yeah. version is you make it all in advance. Like, so let's take the surgery robot yeah. uh, concept. Yeah. That is a video about making a surgery robot. Yes. And the ending where, you know, people come in and they're screaming. It's, while it's weaker. Happening, right. It's it's great. That's the ending. Like it's a yeah. payoff. But the story is him making the thing. Right. right? And he mm -hmm. could yeah. have made a video where he opens with I made a surgery robot. Yeah. And Here are all just, the funny things the I'm going to do, right? And he, yeah. Yeah, reactions or planning a story around that of like, oh, I'm yes. going to try to do surgery on a watermelon and see if I can like, you know, cut create it, an accurate into, yeah. incision or whatever. Yeah. So I think you kind of have to make that call of, okay, is the, or you film both and see what happens. That's kind of what I do now. It used to be that I would like create like code a Skyrim mod in advance. It's all ready to go. I start the stream mm -hmm. and I say, we're doing a stream mm -hmm. or doing a stream where every single character in the game spawns cheese every second and we're going to see mm -hmm. what happens right and i design the whole like arc here's what here's the quest i'm going to try to do here's where it's going to end mm -hmm. i have these possible kind of endings in my brain and then yeah. you roll with it um but then i've started to more and more intentionally not finish the preparation in advance instead show up and say here's the concept for an application let's build more of yeah. it so like it'll be two or three hours of coding a thing <laughs> i and think that's more interesting because then there's like a bunch of different iterations of like right right and what, i have an idea for you yeah what if it's every time i take damage all the npcs butts get bigger <laughs> <laughs> well the cowards at skyrim didn't <laughs> allow me to specifically model the ass cheeks oh uh, coward until chat gpt5 yeah. where, I, where we, we dial in on that and we just crank it up. <laughs> Wait, I've seen some some assets in Skyrim. Are you sure you can't modify the butts? <laughs> There's not. Okay, here's what I'll say. There's not a butt variable that you can increase Damn with it. the code uh, currently. Uh, okay, and that would take um, well, that would take some. Oh, because every NPC is like a different. Mm. So you'd have to like go through every single thing and right. mod it. Some of them are cats, and uh, that's going to be a very different type of ass. I mean, whatever happens, happens, right? Like, yeah, <laughs> it's true. Does the tail get bigger, or does the tail stay the same size? <laughs> I think the, the ass is big. Just the butt I think big. Yeah, as long as something happens, no one's going to be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. <laughs> 
<laughs> but Will, you've also made uh, other story videos. The oyster video. I mean, I think yeah. the oyster and the Mr. video. Yeah, but what does that video? Mr. Videos have a story. Wait, what? Which talking oyster about whether the story is building what or not. What oyster video? Which Mr. Beast video? <laughs> <laughs> No, well, did you see somebody made the exact same videos you did with the uh, the the sawdust and, and cookies? I, I did. It didn't do very good though, right? No, not as good as yeah. yours. No, um, I think last time I checked, it was like four hundred thousand views or something. Well, true. that how big was the channel? Because I don't that, know. That could I, be didn't, a I didn't watch it. I didn't watch it out of principle. So I, I don't <laughs> did know. they say they stole it from me? I don't know. Maybe <laughs> if they stole, they said they stole it from me. That's fine. I don't know about it. I stole yeah. it from a meme. <laughs> but I, yeah. I also said I stole it from a meme, so it's yeah. okay, right? Maybe it's the old yoinkin twist. But the, yeah. the meme maybe, was not you Maybe I'm doing coming with this guy and right? he did everything <laughs> like right. <the> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you in particular, guy, who uh, did that and maybe credited Will, maybe yeah. didn't. <laughs> yeah, maybe he didn't even steal it from a meme. He just had a really good idea all by himself. <laughs> no, he definitely stole it from me. <laughs> you know, you, like, you see something that has a lot of views and you're like, I'm going to copy that. Yeah. yeah. That's what he did. I know yeah. for a fact. That's how I do it. Yeah. That's a, no, that's yeah. I'm I'm doing that for my next video. You sweet your your phone, the you built the phone that you can't drop oh, yeah. video. Yeah. I'm just I'm taking that. I'm just taking that that idea. Good. It's fine. You admitted it. it. That's literally all that matters. For everyone yeah. watching, uh, that's what my next video is going to be because we we have videos that are due very soon, and I don't know another way of doing it. It's like <laughs> it's like when you use other people's footage in your YouTube video and you write no copyright intended. Like as yeah. long as as long as yeah. you yeah. say yeah. 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 you yeah. rob a bank and you're like, hey, just so you guys know this. This is your this money. Is fair this use. is your money. This is fair use. Right. I'm gonna have it now. Like, I'll, it'll be in my, it'll be in my pocket. Right. But it is yours as long as you have credit. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm just using this. I'm only gonna use this money for educational purposes. <laughs> I'll give it back yeah. when I'm done with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I think you're fine. Yeah. I will credit that I took it from oh, and then, you. And then yeah. Make sure you say fair use. Yeah, yeah. yeah. fair use. Yeah. I, I, I usually will just put them in like the YouTube player. Like I'll like take a screenshot of the YouTube website, download the video, and then stick it into so it uh, looks yeah. like. You're yeah. looking at you two. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't That's know smart. if that holds up in court at all, but at <laughs> least it's kind of like in context. Here's this thing yeah, yeah. on YouTube that's yeah. not mine. It's almost like I'm showing you how I saw it. Yeah. Oh, instead that's of I'm so using good. it as footage. Yeah, I think that's the way to do it. Or the the when I get really lazy, I'll just make sure that it's like smaller than the screen so that there's black mm. bars around. So at least there's mm. a layer of separation. Just do that with his whole video. You don't yeah. need <laughs> to make a new one. Put it in a YouTube frame. Actually, I wonder how and many put fair use in the guess. title and then just put his video if up. If it just if I just did like a classic like green screen reaction to the entirety of the video, but then just put a, a sponsorship in the middle that's a different sponsor. Just a yoink and twist. Just put like subway surfers in the corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you get a sponsor by the Scotland titles thing. Oh, and you don't have to take any credit. You never said if you thought it was a scam or not. Uh, it's like a scam if you're really dumb. Like, <laughs> see? That's how you found out you're stupid. It, it's just, if you can't read that it's a joke, then yes, it's a scam. Yeah, like, I, I 100% They were agree. so desperate for sponsors after that. They were like, <laughs> they were coming at me, man. They, I could have bought a car. Oh, But I'm man. like, I wouldn't touch it because it was like, it was toxic. Coward. But I should have done it because now nobody cares yeah, about it. Yeah. I think I did it like a couple of days before the whole thing went down. And even like, like, like you can, you can watch it. It's in the, um, I mean, first of all, the video it's in is just like a, it's a bizarre, like, um, S CNN stole my video. It's like this bizarre journey. Oh, okay. Um, and that was like, like. It, it the whole thing there was not a way to do the the ad yeah. as a not joke so i think at like at one point you couldn't do it as like an integration into the video naturally it was yeah like, i i mm. was i was i was like walk i kind of forced uh audrey yeah um i forced her to hold the camera sorry audrey. and then poor audrey. I, I i forced her to follow like i was like all right i'm gonna walk backwards and we're gonna film this and you follow me so she couldn't see where she was going and so there was a bunch of shit in the garage so like you can actually hear her like Bumping into things and knocking them over as right, she's following. We're gonna me, film this like, ad, but we're just gonna walk in a straight line. <laughs> <laughs> See what happens. It's like I'm still I'm like trying to talk over the sounds of her like knocking over like piles of tools <laughs> because yeah. she can't see where she's going. Have you ever gotten shit for an ad? Uh, I did a Raid Shadow Legends. And Can we give you shit for that's that? That's fine. Yeah, and this is 2019, okay. and it funded me moving states. So I did. Yeah. I think if you say that, if you say that to your audience, you're like. Hey, I use this money for something important. Like, I, I think if you if you do a crappy ad and then you show your new Lambo, that's right. less well received than yeah, you know. So what, I what are you supposed to not have a Lambo. Though? I think people would get right. more mad at you if if they knew like if if people knew like what you can get paid doing ads on YouTube. And you didn't take the ad. I do think they would be more mad at you. They would say, <laughs> so You're an idiot. Yeah. I think you should have right, just yeah. done it. Right. 
if you're yeah. offered six figures or five figures or six figures or whatever for a thing, well, like your manager, yes, oh, <laughs> six cr- figures. Oh man, I actually don't think I've been. Well, anyway, uh, but like <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot of it's a lot of money, and yeah. definitely the yeah. worst and least like the less likable a sponsor is, the number does go up. Yeah. It goes yeah. up it a has lot. To. It has right. to. And all dude, Philip Morris ground. one time they they wanted me to do like a tobacco they do? ad. <gasps> Ooh, that's what that is. Whoa. I've got yeah. like a camel one, and they, yeah. they wanted like I had to sign they're doing YouTube NDA. sponsors. Um, I don't remember what it was, but I was super curious, and so I kind of like kept. Po- I would never, I would never yeah. ever. There's a couple of things I would never ever do, and that is one of them. And I, oh my what, god, what if you had like a better help on either side? So you're yeah. like. You just yeah, sandwich it with something good. That one's interesting. I don't know. Like how how bad I haven't done too much research into it, but like what is the new better help thing? Because originally the beef was uh the the agreement said they don't have to like guarantee the validity of stuff. Like which is like a liability. Like they don't really? guarantee they don't guarantee outcomes or something. Hmm. Something like that. What's the new what beef people have with it? Do you have I, any idea? I don't know. They hate it. It's the new like this is the scam that I keep seeing on YouTube, and oh, I have yeah. I have not had the energy to get riled up about that particular. Thing. I mean, there's what, so many things to get riled what up. What is about it? Right it's now. just like talking to a therapist, right? Dude, it's yeah. like I yes, but I think like the, the quality of therapy is bad or something, and they sell your data or, or something like that. Dude, but yeah, I really don't know. If you walk around with a phone in your pocket, you get your data sold. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I think, and they're not like psych psychiatrists, right? They're just there to like talk to and like help you like work through. They connect you with licensed therapists. Yeah, I don't actually remember. I did a whole ad read. I don't remember any of the talking I think points. if you're talking to a licensed nefarious. therapist and they do a bad job, it's probably more a problem with like the therapy licensing system. Yeah, like yeah. exactly. I think yeah. we're going to get a lot of comments that are going to explain to us exactly yeah. what, what we're doing wrong yes. right now. I, I, yes. some, <laughs> some of the complaints I've seen of it are just they feel kind of... Um, just like complaining as opposed to like mm. having an actual gripe of people saying that like, Oh, the therapist did something bad or did this or did that. Then it's like, report them. That's what, that's what you do. You report them. There was, there's a couple doctors in our life recently that have gotten reported and their oh, licenses God. revoked. And those are not on any online thing. One of them was pretty bad. <laughs> oh Jesus. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we like sort of heard through the grapevine. It was like, Oh, oh. What, what about like, how do you compare it to Uber though? Let's say your Uber driver sucks. Is that on yeah. Uber's? Is no, that on you just rate the driver shitty and you get a new one next time. What if that happens consistently? Which it sounds like, from my very limited that understanding, what? that that is what's going on. Like people consistently rating really bad is there, therapists. Is that or, like, has it been like quantified or is it just like a vocal minority complaining? Not sure. Yeah. Maybe because are think, people like, are they like saying that too much good thing? Like, you know, is it going to cure you of your depression? Are they like yeah, advertising these like that's cures? Therapy and, like, in general is like, I, like you, you don't just find somebody you like you, you know like you take a vitamin and yeah. it says like oh this will cure like this is good for exactly. joint health and or something like that if but you like need it's, therapy it's like actually sort of not a nightmare guaranteed. to find the right therapist oh yeah no the concept of better help yeah. is fantastic like, yeah. yeah be so so great and so it's a bummer to hear that it sucks so bad but i don't know what, what exactly, exactly. yeah it seems hard to quantify it but apparently I mean, we're there's not some data stuff and whatever else. Them, so they can yeah uh, they can suck my ass. You guys should make like a sort of Damocles episode. Yeah. We just we we you message better help and say we will release this episode. Yeah. Unless you, you sponsor us. us. <laughs> yeah. Like here's the footage. It's like a good busker strategy I've always had of like being really shit at guitar and yeah, yeah. For chat bucks, is this I'll extortion? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't I'm a street musician with a sign that says, I will stop playing if you yeah. give me five dollars. I think that like a, a cigarette or like vaping promotion is like you're kind of actually the devil if what you're doing this oil shit? yeah that's yeah, but what if I said they'd too. pay me one hundred fifty thousand dollars to talk then you're about? You're an idiot if you don't take it. Yeah. The, the, all the good things that they're doing to like help make tobacco safer and prevent youth from smoking cigarettes. Do you remember like, our our oil, our like greenwashing campaign idea? Because we've been approached by all these people. Like, yeah, BP, uh, it was like I I I like I by had, like Chevron. You mean like yeah? Like, I don't know. Who, I don't know who it was. Yeah, huh. I think it was BP. I think there at one point. Um, I I was like. There was like an intro with BP mm. and then didn't go any further. And I feel like it might have been because um, one of my ideas was I was going to use the money to fly a private that was, jet. Yeah, that was our collaboration. <laughs> yeah, so I was going yeah. to fly a private jet with a cooler pack full of ice to yeah. like a glacier. And, and I was put gonna more ice onto the glacier. <laughs> like, so I was like saving a glacier Dude, with that's oil money. so bad. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> They didn't. I don't know if they ever even heard the I, idea. I think that's but. a really noble cause. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> spending their money to repopulate yeah, I think the it's ice. A, it's, I've, it's I've always wanted to fly a private jet. So <laughs> you got to get like a helicopter up the last like ten thousand yeah. feet of the mountain. The air is so thin. <laughs> 
Dude, you I, like I open up a McDonald's cup and just yeah, like pour out the, the ice. Pour out the ice calculate in your drink. how much ice you need to bring on your private jet to offset the carbon. <laughs> it's That's in, a great it's, video. It's infinite. Yeah. It's yeah. Infinite. Yeah. Because you need to put more ice and then you need more <laughs> sure, fuel to carry more ice. Making, I, I, so making, you start a campaign and put pressure on, you know, the billionaires to be yeah. like, at least carry ice around. We need and yeah. drop it off yeah, yeah. in Antarctica yes. on your way to New Jersey. Yes. Just dump it out in the ocean to combat like the, you know, global warming. Yeah. There's the classic engineering test problem of uh you take a refrigerator and you put it in an adiabatic room which means no heat can come in no heat can leave you open the door to the refrigerator and you plug it in what happens does the temperature of the room go up or down <laughs> no, no we, we, I, don't we know, know, I don't know i don't know physics and we know the answer so this is uh, oh yeah we definitely yeah do. yeah doug what's your answer it's so like let's say you same? open the refrigerator in your kitchen yeah is the temperature going to go up or down? In the room. Right, yeah, I would assume down. And I assume that's not the not answer a, because yeah, otherwise, why would this question be? Yeah, exactly. The, the, the answer is up. Okay. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because we knew that. the refrigerator pumps heat from the inside to the outside. It's the same way your air conditioner works. Oh, but it's works. that staying in the room as it's well. It's staying in the room, uh, but it's okay. also inefficient. Yeah. And so it generates it's extra heat, heat on top of it. Okay, yeah. interesting. So and isn't it only works if the door is closed because then you can create one spot that's cold and one spot that's hot. Gotcha. It's why your compressor for your air conditioner is on the outside of your house usually too. It's like it, it, you, it heats up the outside air yeah. to cool down mm. the inside air. Um, so we're going to need a huge air conditioner in that private yeah. jet. Yeah. So like, like what if we put the hot part in a volcano? Cause it's already hot. <laughs> oh yeah. So it cools down the air conditioner. Yeah. yeah. And then you use the cool part and you blow that over a glacier. I think there's a way to do it where you like, you like make a giant heat pump in the earth where like, you're not, you're yeah. not actually, you're cooling the glaciers down but you're making somewhere else hotter. <laughs> but that's how it, it works, right? It doesn't matter because it's already hot. The, that's like geothermal, right? Uh, yeah. But what if you put put it up in space? Wait, how does or if we shift it around, yeah. like every year one continent agrees to be way hotter yeah. and everybody yeah, yeah, else yeah, gets yeah. to be cool yeah. that time. Yeah, yeah I like that idea. That's right, like, idea. share the load, all right? Don't be selfish. Uh -huh. Like, There's like 100,000 people in Australia. They can take right. the heat for a exactly. few years while the rest of us cool down. They won't even know. a couple million kangaroos die, who gives a shit? They're not Everybody gonna just like they reverses the air conditioning the for like a couple years. weeks out of the year. <laughs> so wait, if oh you... yeah, you just have to like like it's a lottery system, and every year some people they have to move their Reverse air conditioning, their air conditioning. the other way, yeah. so it blows cold yeah. air out and hot yeah. air in, and makes the hot the house unbearable. How do we go hot? from better help to global warming in like five minutes? Uh, uh, what if when it's winter uh, you just like to... condense all that cold air and then you release it during summer? <laughs> you like bottle it, like pump so it into have, a scuba wait, tank. What do you mean, just like a giant insulated box that you close and then you wait yeah. till summer and open oh, it no, up again? You just you make yeah. giant ice cubes during the winter. Wait, how they does, used to do this like back in the 1800s. To how cool does, their, right, that's what they right. used for refrigerators. What is global warming? Is it like? <laughs> I think who, uh, uh, you should be asking question. who is global uh, warming. Where? Wait, is is the it's on average getting warmer? Yeah, I think so. So then the glaciers like are melting. Yeah. yeah. So that's absorbing energy. So are we ending up with like a surplus of energy on the surface of the earth? I, I think the like the sort of side effects of global warming are sort of the, the things that are bad. And that includes like the sea level rise. Maybe the so we're, like, we're, we're storm, yeah, more powerful the, storms. So we're greenhousing. So we're collecting more energy on the surface of yeah, the earth. So yeah. less energy is radiating off the earth. Yes. Or more is getting in. Like it's getting trapped inside. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And so collectively the temperature is going up, which is causing ice to melt. Yeah. yeah. That's the earth healing itself. So we can't, we can't. <laughs> so us moving energy around doesn't solve the problem. It can it just, if we're moving it we get like a tube somewhere else. We'd have to out of get the atmosphere. to like to the moon or to Mars. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right, or right, right. to Australia because we just need it to be localized. Right. If we dig a hole in Australia and we put the energy into the hole. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Or the moon. The moon doesn't have an atmosphere. We can give it back. So we have to, it's like nuclear waste. It's like thermal waste. We have to get rid of our yeah. heat. We have to get yep. it either off the planet or put it in some horrible little box that somehow contains. <laughs> well, there, okay, there is a, there's a third option and that's just like, like the, the reason we have excess energy is because of, we get a shit ton of energy. We just need to block out the sun. Laser. Yeah, dude, mm. I like the matrix. Or laser. That's how the Wait, matrix did We it. convert yeah. the heat into electricity and then we yeah. have a, it 
fucking 10 megawatt Dude, that's laser cool. pointing just, we're literally radiating yeah. out of this horrible Should've, give laser it back give space. it back to the sun yeah we don't need it yeah. fuck you god <laughs> <laughs> i feel like the atmosphere is gonna absorb a lot of that back in on its way Shut out up, nerd you might yeah. have like the the ice airplane problem again where like you have to make the laser bigger and bigger to overcome it but then yeah, the laser laser more is just more of it into radiating the heat <laughs> yeah. just to shoot the beam out <laughs> what if you take a tube from space down to the earth and you suck all that air out and then there's no more air in the tube and that's where you put the laser we're not stupid yeah. fuck you yeah <laughs> you're the dumb one here we're talking about a giant laser and you're talking about oh it might make the air hot too like come on we have we're the just technology leaving comments about how the, the lord's mobile wait what was the land one called again uh, uh <laughs> Established titles. Yeah, you're sitting oh, here yeah, yeah. bumbling over Lord established titles Mobile, and we're getting rid of our extra we have thermal a, energy. A virtual Scotland that you get a virtual title to in game. Yeah. But what you if you contribute it to the world? And we'll make you a licensed therapist in Scotland. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude, I, I don't need therapy. I need a 10 megawatt laser pointing. Yeah, yeah. What um what if they put it on those uh the what do they call the elevator things like the carbon fiber tube elevator? Oh, the space, space elevator? elevator. Yeah, you like you're thinking of hyperloop. Hyperloop. <laughs> <laughs> we need to send that uh, into space. Fuck. If we just make the loop go up, big. Yeah. Loop, a bigger loop. <laughs> better person. <laughs> we need a bigger loop. Make the loop hyper. Do you, do you guys know about carbon capture tech? This seems like stuff you might. Well, actually, yeah. let me rephrase that. Clearly, uh, you don't based on the last five minutes. But it's like, it's no. like do you know trees, anything about right? it? Like, grow a bunch of that, trees. That, in theory, is how we get out of global warming, and right? You bury trees, the trees. Yeah, didn't Elon do the carbon capture thing, and everyone was just like, "Trees, give me my money." Yeah, he put up like I think a hundred million dollars for yeah. the best project or company to capture carbon to basically, you know, get it back in out of the atmosphere, and then the planet will stop heating. I know how to get a lot of comments on this podcast. Mm. Yeah, how Elon fell off tesla sucks are we Dude. really he I does mean... and i can prove it look at the stock yeah look at the stock. I'll, I'll make sure we cover b b both options elon uh, musk didn't he's real good you, <laughs> you, can, go. you can you can go through the whole like history of this podcast comments. and you can literally watch our opinions on elon musk go from like extremely positive to yeah. absolutely like <laughs> yeah <laughs> what's the opposite of extremely positive uh, dog water dog water Br brain rot brain yeah. rot um I I think that the carbon capture stuff is like literally what a tree is. Like it's it's yeah. We just invented trees. Yeah, again. there might be like so why isn't the solution just plant a billion more trees? I think a lot of people like to have like a trinket of a solution. Like they have this little tangible thing that's like more of a plan than planting trees. It's like mm. here's some technology that does something. It's like a fidget toy. You know, people would pimp their vapes out. People just like to like put things together and oh, they're like, yeah. here's a solution to a uh, like what a, a problem looking for a solution. But we do no. it is a the problem. Trees, I keep saying that backwards. It's a solution looking the, for the a problem. The trees do break down like eventually. Yeah, I think like the, the microbes yeah. release the all that carbon again. The only way to actually sequester it is you'd have to grow a bunch of trees and then I think Cast you'd have them to like, resin. Yeah, I think you'd have to like yeah. bury them or shoot them like, off shoot into, them into space. space. <laughs> Wait, like get, yeah, like, yeah. Giant yeah. Tree so, get rid of the carbon. Is there even a net negative in carbon in total in the life cycle of a tree, or is it just when it's alive? When the tree is alive, then it stores a bunch of carbon. It as much carbon as it weighs. Then we have the same problem, right? Like probably the dinosaurs, which are the source of most of the fossil fuels anyway, right? Like, Correct. Those we, are probably absorbing carbon when they were around, and now correct. we're stuck well, with them. And that's, that's that's now we're oil. burning their carbon. That's, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. They, they were sequestered, but it, the problem is they were sequestered in a way that stored a lot of energy, and now we use it to run Dude, our cars. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. this <laughs> insane version of an air conditioner. It's like it's like a, weird, <laughs> yeah. it's like a carbon pump. Where, like You take carbon, and you pump it into a dinosaur, and then you have to bury it underground for... <laughs> 6,000 years. 15 years. <laughs> a temporal heat pump. And then you, and then, and then it turns into it this ferments. goo. It ferments, yeah. it turns it into, ferments gasoline. into goo. It's such a good goo. And the older it gets, the better. It's like a fine wine. Yeah. yeah. And then you put it in your car, mm -hmm. or if you were a Tesla driver, you put it into the smoke producing power plant. <laughs> yeah. In yeah, the, yeah, yeah. In the anti electric vehicle cartoons that people make. Um, and then you drive around with it. Yeah. And then it goes back in the atmosphere. Yeah. Yeah. It's all solar energy, technically. It's all solar powered. Yeah. So technically. We, we plant a bunch of dinosaurs and yes. we start the cycle again. So I think I think yeah. then we have to bury it, right? That's yeah. the solution. Or you could also um if you can find like a big enough thing of like of like water that you know is not gonna be disturbed that is also like can't grow anything, like it's way too yeah, salty. But how big? 
I th- I think that like the Pacific Ocean. I think a ton of our oil <laughs> the actually, Marinara Trench. Th- I, yeah, I think there was like one of the fucking ice ages was literally caused by like you know like duck wait the real weed? ice age or DreamWorks like like, oh, like the weed? both both of the both, both of those ice were caused ages. like like there I think it was the, like that plant that floats on water. And yeah, I think there was like a massive amount of that stuff that like over a very long period of time eventually died in such a way that the water just became like inhospitable to microbes to break it down oh okay hmm. and so it ju- like when there's it just, like a, a bunch of like a bunch of like an algae bloom it sucks all yeah, the oxygen but it, out was, of the water. it was massive i think it used to be like where antarctica was this is like joe rogan levels of accuracy by the way okay. i don't remember <laughs> any of this stuff actually huge nipples yeah. do your own do your own research <laughs> look into it but there was a bunch of like duckweed in antarctica that yeah. caused the globe you know and, and people are coming at us for gasoline and there was like a plant dead at the last time so yeah. you can't win i mean the other one was like like before trees could be broken down because they're they're their cells oh, yeah have lignin and it took like millions of years for bacteria to figure out how to break lignin down so yeah. in that period of time when trees died they just like piled they just up piled up forever like, and like, nothing i heard like them. miles yeah mile deep forest and that turned into fuel for us that was yeah. temporal heat pump yeah it got colder then so it could get warmer now <laughs> <laughs> so we know the strategy right yeah we, we have it. we right. also we know that it's impossible <laughs> Why can't we just admit defeat? Why do we have to have a solution? Because right? we're all going to yeah. die or something. We're going to be know. dead so long before any solution or thing ever even happens. Like, I was going to say, I some, get it. somebody it's, listening to this in 100 years, like they don't exactly. even listen to it now. Yeah. <laughs> um, so what did we learn? <laughs> uh, uh, we are going on the private jet or no? Uh, I, I like the we're private. waiting BP. The, we're waiting for yeah. a response. The private jet is fun because at least it looks like we're trying. <laughs> 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 Their heart's in the right place. They're just really dumb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I think that um, that we're doomed and we should just focus on yeah. things we like. What do you like? That's <laughs> such a good. I, I love yeah. Zelda. That's good. Zelda's yeah. cool. Yeah. Do you ever think about the carbon uh, in, footprint in cool and how you're killing room, the planet? Like in a very Zelda? chilled room with like yeah. an icy beverage. I yeah. love playing yeah. Zelda. And if anything were to change in that specific context, things would not be. Okay. I prefer you to play always, Zelda on a one by one foot square. Yeah. <laughs> you can always have that room as long as it's getting increasingly hot outside of the room. But yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Always have the chilled drink in the chilled room yes. as long as you have that. Yes. I love carbon maxing. I love, <laughs> I love fossil like, fuels. Like looks maxing, but for fucking carbon. Yeah. Dude, I love, I love, uh, I love, I love uh, fossil fuels. I love air conditioning. I love, Dude, I go get I love my car disposable smogged. utensils. I like fix it so it smogs, and then I purposefully detune it. And then yeah. for the entire year, I'm pumping out. More I love emissions. burning yeah. trees and releasing the, the carbon back into the air where it wants to be. <laughs> you make it sound like you're doing some more, something country. more complicated. Right? Yeah. Lighting a tree Stop outside. keeping all the carbon to yourself, trees. Yeah, bastards. I'm going to share this. Did you bring it up to share with the class? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Alan, what's something you like? Uh, God, what do I even like anymore? I, uh, I don't even One of watch ten and the confetti that happens. Anime was kind of like the last thing that I think I liked. And then I stopped. <laughs> That's actually literally how I know you're at rock bottom. And then I think I, I, st- I, d- I don't even like watch that anymore. So I'm not even sure how to answer that question. You know, you know what I, I do kind of like? Mm. Tesla coils, but I wish... Mm-hmm. That I, it wasn't. I'm I'm playing with them for a video, and I wish I wasn't. I think if it wasn't for a video, I'd be having a lot of fun right now. Like, hold on, this is like a hobby. Like you, uh, you used to spend your evenings watching anime, and now you spend your evenings uh, Tesla coil playing with Tesla coils, but okay. not in like a fun way, and like a kind of a panicked way that like mm. I have to I have to yeah. make it. Mark Rober's literally fun. off screen holding a gun to our heads yeah. right yeah. now, <laughs> and He's holding a grenade to our heads right now. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'll take you with me. So that's what I've been. It's just they're they're really cool. They're really fucking cool. I wish. That I could just play with them, but I can't. But they're really cool. Reminds me of a comic I saw uh, the other day. It was this like dinosaur guy on Reddit, and he's he's kind of reminiscing about video games, no updates from back in the day. You just buy your cartridge and you play. Oh, like, yeah. Part of me feels like it's not that video games are like worse now. I mean, objectively, they are and aren't. Or is it subjectively? Does anybody know the difference? Uh, um, it's. I think. I think it's. It's. It. It was. It's, I think it, it was, depends if it's objective or subjective. It's I guess. always <laughs> better when stuff is done, I think. That's I, my opinion. I, I agree. But I think that a lot of people sort of pin their feelings on that when in reality they are missing this like weird kind of childhood state right, where you right. can do something 
and explore it without having other pressures that make yeah. you feel like you're not allowed to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone but, yeah. always thinks that it t- times were best when they were like 15. And that's yes. like where like it gradually goes down yes. from there. I think that there's something about even if you're like super rich and you have all the money in the world, you don't have to work. I think there's something magical about being a kid where you don't really have to worry about stuff and you can just explore ideas that seem interesting to you. Yeah. And it it's like a state of mind, not it's not the game. It's where you are in your life. And Mm -hmm. you're at a point where you want to figure things out. You want to learn about the world. Like here's this cool adventure that tickles your brain. And you're going to, you're going to read the magazines. You're going to read, you know, like websites to try to figure out how to do it. Facts. Game maxing. Yeah. 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 Game maxing. Game maxing. Game (laughs) maxing. And you, and you just like, like I I remember just in high school, I remember the Wiimote thing that guy made this, this dude published this software where you could use the the screen for the screen. Oh my God. You also saw that. Yeah. That's, that's hilarious. I, I, I thought it was like kind of esoteric. It's it, he used the 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 Wiimotes that had the IR like really yeah, shitty IR and like camera the, the bar on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he took those. He wrote a driver for like Windows, and oh, so okay. you could essentially use it as an IR camera, and you just get like an IR LED, yeah. and so you, you could, could like. like you could calibrate a surface like a whiteboard. So you mm-hmm. pointed at a whiteboard kind of at an angle and then you, you'd you like touch these points, the mm-hmm. corners, and then it would calibrate position on the camera to position mm-hmm. on. And you could literally draw onto like a whiteboard that had a projector on it. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's cool. And like, I would like, I like, like got a, I got a highlighter and I pulled the guts out and I put like an LED out the tip mm-hmm. and I put a button on it and like some batteries in it. So when you press the button, the LED turns on and that's like cool. I did, I like made this little Wiimote holder to, to hold the remote and I like brought it to school and I was like, oh, can I set it up? And the computer, the teacher let me like install the driver on the computer, the class <laughs> wow. computer and I didn't do anything bad because I didn't know how to. And <laughs> I just remember like, like I don't really do a whole lot of stuff like that anymore where you're almost like, like you're full send on a, an idea that's actually just sort of a waste of time but it doesn't matter because that's where you are in your life and yeah. that's what people miss hmm. Hmm. do you do you worry that kids because like we grew up in the as the internet was maturing yeah. i do worry with like back on ai a bit yes it will be an infinite amount of stuff like quite literally worse. and every single worse. person will have yeah. an infinite amount of personally curated things it's yes. not just like you go on youtube or tv and these are your options it's yeah. now like you can ask your ai make me literally anything yeah. and there's i think there's value and constraints you know and having oh, a yeah. limited amount yeah. of things that you can experience in the world and then exploring within that yes and it is a little terrifying to think that the next generation is going to be exposed to literally much. infinity I, right? I feel very worried about that too yeah yeah i I, think, I don't know if we're boomers we're doing the tv <laughs> no, yeah, okay. yeah. i'm games, feeling that already that. though because it's like I think, yeah. be fine. think of how many like I'm, i want to play video games with my friends right but there's so many games out right now and everybody's right. like playing their own game yeah. but like back in the day there was like you went over to somebody's house there was like three you know, like yeah. you, you couldn't just do that you yeah. had to like play these games yeah there was more together. shared experience between yeah. people because it was limited yeah and, and this like, person wants to play like shooter a this person wants to play shooter Hentai b Adventure and they're like four. so freaking close yeah. to the same game right yeah. and so, i don't have i like i haven't even caught up on the first three hentai adventures yeah. like i, I, I don't just have the time for that. to three yeah, yeah i think and missed the plot the one. um i what you can they, they <laughs> how will do, i know do, uh, why boob chan is going for senpai big dick <laughs> i don't know what any of them are saying anyways there's no subtitles uh, they so. do a pretty okay. pretty good recap it's just I the visuals it's for you just pretty much enough <laughs> more of a, uh, more of a comic the voice book, acting's yeah. excellent yeah <laughs> i like it's the soundtrack a, it's, it's, it's always better in a different language <laughs> <Tentacle chan>. yeah. <laughs> you know what's gonna be super wild is like AI will definitely get good enough where you could say, I want to play a video game with my friends tonight that is a multiplayer shooter that has these elements that has whatever else. You know, that's probably decades out, but in our lifetime, that'll happen. Oh, yeah. And like, I think so. Is that that good or is that bad? I think that it is good, but it will be extremely disruptive and we will have to reevaluate how yeah. human experiences happen. I generally think so. Like for me, I've I've been using ChatGPT a lot the last year. Mm. And part of it is for content and for funny stuff and like, oh, haha, ChatGPT is going to scream at me and say I'm a moron in some video or whatever, or like uh, write an email to Timu and shit its pants in the right, email. Right, right, right. Um, <laughs> uh, which I did do, and they stopped emailing me, which is great. <laughs> um, but the other thing I've noticed is that I love learning now. I've been learning so much programming. Yeah. Because like, I, I have a programming background, but I was never great at it. And now the last year I've learned more programming than ever in my life. Okay. Because did, did you go to school for it? 
I, I have a computer science degree. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But then that's I, a, yeah. yeah. So I, so I have the foundation, but that's like yeah. a decade ago. And then, and then quit because I was like, I don't like programming. I want to make weird, yeah. funny things. And then I've realized, oh, these actually can combine you can together. Do the two together. But yeah. the, uh, yeah. the amount of programming I've done has, has really ramped up because now anything I'm interested in, I can ask chat GPT, mm -hmm. you know, okay, how does JavaScript and Node.js actually work? Like, what is Node.js? Why? I've read Dude, about I, it before. I wonder the same is thing. Is it like right, a right. server or something? Right, that, that was my understanding. What is Node? So, <laughs> to be able to ask ChatGPT, like, what is Node.js? Can you explain it to me in this particular way? And then, mm. like, use analogies. Okay, make that simpler. All right, write an example in these ways. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, and so it, it's, it's custom like from it's, Hentai Adventure 4. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and if you think Tentacle about what, what is a variable ChatGPT? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's where I'm at. <laughs> yeah. Explain it like I'm five. Now explain it like I'm three. Now explain it like I'm two. <laughs> I, I did that. I did that with machine learning. I literally said, explain it to me like I have no knowledge of computers. And then I built up in complexity to where I actually understood it. Huh. It's crazy. Explain it to me like the only word I know how to say is ah. Uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, the thing is, I just don't really trust it enough to like really believe anything that it says because it's giving me some the hallucination. But, but Dude, like for, yeah. For, for like thinking hard. about the future, yeah. right? It definitely will get there. Yeah. yeah. And and if you think about all of our experience as humanity being custom tailored to how you learn best and what interests you, that is like a major, major, major leap forward in how we you know engage with the world, how we find our careers, how we create things. Like it, that alone of you have tools that are completely customized to your strengths, exactly optimized for how you learn, feels like it will be a massive leap for everybody. I don't want to yeah. be like my 70 year old neighbor who's like, I, I don't use those computer things. You know, I don't need those anymore. I like think, I stopped using computers in the seventies. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like I don't want to be like that with AI. <laughs> like, a computer in the seventies is very different from a computer. Today. Yeah, no, he <laughs> like I'm not even sure I would call them the same. <laughs> <laughs> what was the what was the like oh yeah. Back when I used the Enigma machine. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. When I was decoding uh -huh. I was decoding messages from the Germans. Like, uh, can you imagine how long it would take to fucking render hentai on the Enigma machine? Uh, oh, geez, forever. It like, yeah. like prints it out and like stamps. Like like hole punches you like a that's ask, like the only other thing girl. that America <laughs> like, spent. I'm waiting for the on. nipple. Yeah, I want to see the I want to see the hole punches where the nipple is. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I feel like all the good stuff that can come with AI comes with a barrage of your worst nightmare. Oh yeah, because the history of everything is people just climbing over each other to make more money, and you kind of see it with like you know facebook and and all like these just the big dogs in tech right now are are like they're just trying to make more money they're not trying to make the world a better place and that that's the part that worries me is it's like the internet back in the day was a cool place where you could you know look at specific forums for things you're interested in and there's very little of that remaining it's it's kind of just a couple of like really big websites that drive almost all the traffic this, I mean, there's Reddit. Reddit's still yeah, but here, here's a counterexample. Good. Yeah, the four of us. Yeah, we have very, very niche specific things that we were able yeah. to create. That a large, I mean, a million people watching a video is not, you know, a large percentage of Earth, but that's a lot, right? Yeah, and and I think it'll probably move towards giant aggregations of companies like you said yeah. but then many 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 people who are doing very very individual things and are able to support themselves on a smaller scale i i feel like the a motivation be. from a big company is not in the best interest of like what is what you want the internet to be or what you want ai tools to be right like you yeah. want you want to be able to use ai to do to solve like unique problems that you would never be able to solve like i, I, I i'm not much of a programmer and like tell me if i'm totally off base with this but like i feel like you could use chat gpt to like deliver commands based on things that you say so you could have like a list of things you want your robot to do like go left go right go forward go backwards and you could i'm assuming make a G gpt setup where you just say if you feel like the person has indicated a command to go left oh yeah give this signal to the robot oh yeah so it's, it's like you sentiment analysis the right. voice and then yeah mm. and so it's like you yeah. can make stuff that like would be almost impossible to do before like mm -hmm. like google like okay google have you okay tried, google have you tried using the arduino <laughs> forms order hentai heroes 4 <laughs> 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 Yes, it did it. All right. Hentai Heroes 4 has been amped oh, your shopping purchase. list. Complete purchase. Yes. Buy. Buy. Yes. 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 Buy. Buy. Send. Buy. <laughs> Buy. <laughs> Buy all DLC Hentai yeah. Purchase 4. Yes. Like, make I, this I, a recurring purchase. I feel like... <laughs>
<laughs> what you want to do with AI is going to be used by Facebook to, to combine and aggregate all the data across all the different websites you use across with your, the people around you, across with your friends, across like it's creating this like almost insanely, not even almost an insanely complicated mesh map that they can then exploit to advertise people, you know, like super effectively. They already do it, but like, that's what the people who are spending money money on ai are going to do with it and i think that's what worries me is it's not like the cool things you can do with it that we all think about it's the yeah. horrible things of you know that are gonna an entire generation of kids that are being you know i don't know i don't know what's gonna happen i'm not indoctrinated brainwashed but like you know in a, in a scale that's like candidates. so big that it's impossible to like pinpoint what the hell's going on yeah, no, it is terrifying. I, there's so many terrifying things about AI. I'm generally very positive on it. And then I yeah. think for individuals, it will massively open up opportunities yeah. for, you know, finding what you want to do, for creating things, for learning things, for running businesses, for education. That alone is unbelievably huge. I think that's like yeah. a 10x jump for every single human on Earth. I welcome the singularity. <laughs> I, I but, then, have... but then once you have AGI and there's a giant monstrous process which can run the vast majority of society. Yeah. yeah. And that's being run by a corporation where a few people get to decide what happens that then that is very scary. And that's that's the huge unknown for me. And I'm um, for now, I'm like, you know what? In the next 20 years, though, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> How many? There's a lot of bad, bad things will happen. But the, the good ones, I'm real excited. I about. hope the AGI is invented by McDonald's. That would be cool. <laughs> yeah. I really like the, mm. the McDonald's. Do you think McNuggets. they could like engineer their food to taste even better? I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> I pray that's, that that's, that's what happens. That's when we will have achieved singularity <laughs> is when the quarter pounder. To, you know, it's like this is better than it was before. <laughs> That's yeah. yeah. We know. We have oh, okay. better. Right. That's like yeah. Every That's the Turing test for AGI. Better. It's <laughs> yeah. It's, the big it's actually like better. better than heroin. You take a bite yeah. out of it, and it's like you just never want to leave the McDonald's. Then you burger, just like sit there and keep ordering an order. That's what I want. Yeah. I want. I want the AGI to figure out how to make McDonald's burger the Big Mac, but tastier than crack. And the answer yeah. is just heroin. <laughs> yeah. They just do start putting heroin oh, in the burger. Man, yeah. I burger guess King's gonna lose the AI war. They're just sitting in the corner shitting. <laughs> <laughs> Sure, we tried putting Advil in the burger. Yeah. Nobody likes it. <laughs> I don't understand. McDonald's is so goddamn good. <laughs> we tried putting Imodium in it, but people are still shitting. <laughs> Put more. <laughs> more emo our new Imodium burger. <laughs> I feel bad for the mom and pop crack houses that have to compete with that. Oh, that's, that's tough. Yeah, it's unfair. <laughs> <laughs> Big business came and just stole all the good stuff. But they'll uh, find their niche. They'll make a little YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah. Once once we get cocaine too, that's when we know oh, AGI yeah. is. Yeah. <laughs> I saw something on YouTube the other day, and it kind of like I I I'm curious as to what they're doing because I don't feel like it's a good thing. Um. You know, do you remember the thing they published like a year ago? It was like uh, AI tools for shorts. It's like make backgrounds and stuff with AI. Oh, yeah. I don't yeah. remember it was that. Like, that. It was really stupid. Oh, yeah. And like, I just like really stupid. Like actually really like one of the dumbest things I've ever <laughs> seen them do because yeah. it was like a completely useless tool that I don't think I, I've, it, I haven't nobody seen one used. short that used that. Yeah. yeah. I think I'm like, there's, they're just trying to put AI in everything. If you say yeah. AI is in your thing, your stock goes up right now. So you got you to say it. Right. Well, that's part of what worries me. I saw a short that had 28 million views. I didn't watch it. I just like hovered over it, saw some, because uh, I, I knew exactly what it was. Clearly targeted towards kids. It was like this kind of Pixar looking cat. Like, I don't, what's the word anthropomorphic? I don't want to say yeah. furry. It was like, imagine you take <laughs> a like a kid version of a furry. Yeah. What, what uh, percentage furry? It was like what percentage my furry, first furry was it? Was uh, it like on the cat, it, uh, on the cat girl to cat scale? Where did it fall? What is uh, DreamWorks, the cat? Puss in Boots, is he a furry? No. No, that's just that's a, cat. a cat. Yeah, no, that's, that's just a cat. cat. I would say it was leaning more in that direction. Okay. 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 Uh, that's pretty good. It was like kind of a cute, fluffy orange kitten. And there was like a weird like string of kind of like cartoon blood coming out of its nose. What the fuck? Like it had a bloody nose. And he was like in a classroom. And they definitely used the word Pixar in the prompt, I guarantee it. Oh, and it was like a slideshow of the same cat in different, like a children's book, right? There's okay. different pictures okay. of this cat as it's progressing through the narrative. And it's the same cat, but it's AI generated. So it's not the same cat. It's like stylistically different every single time you see the cat. I I'm trying to find it. I can't find it. If anybody can find this short, please link to it. Is it in your history? Oh, you never Dude, clicked on it. I never it. clicked on it. Yeah. You guys uh, comment bait hard. Yeah. This podcast. It doesn't work. We still only get like three comments. Yeah, we're just trying um, to make friends. <laughs> 
Yeah, you That's can be. Come on, <laughs> join our safety third Discord server. You have to pay to be in there, but we want to be friends with you. <laughs> oh, you can go to patreoncom slash the yard. <laughs> um, I know. I I would put money on it's AI narrated. Yeah, and it's probably AI scripted too. So you're looking at a piece of content targeted towards kids, marketed in a way that no actual children's publisher would market something. A cat mm -hmm. with like a weird, like bloody nose, not like graphic, but just like a little bit. Like you would, no, no one would ever do this. Yeah. Was there a reason to, would the, would the, the cat get punched? Dude, was there an I have no idea because I didn't the... watch it. I'm hoping somebody can find it. it 28 million views. I can't imagine Such you can't find vague. it. And I'm sitting there thinking to myself, this platform is like putting money into AI that's being trained on the shit that every that we all, you know, I say as artists, I don't know, and that seems a little bit <laughs> make. And then they're putting money into it so that the platform can then consist of AI generated stuff. It's almost like here's a shovel, dig your own grave. Mm. And they're dumping money into it. And it's this weird, like, I don't want to say kind of exploitative content that is able to uh touch kids' brains in a way that no respectable ethical company would. Hmm. There probably needs to be filter for kid content. I, I just, I feel like there. I mean, a filter for everything. Like, I, there were we were watching some life filters. We were at like grandparents' house people. this weekend, and they were watching this like like fifty places you should visit, and it was like clearly AI oh, voiceover, God. and oh, it was yeah, all, right, stock all stock and footage. And I'm like, man. is this what you want your platform to be? Like actual shit? What, is that yeah. what the people watch? That's like dude, what that's the military what uses. They Do you know like, what happens if you give people heroin, dude? Uh, they uh, become very productive. They don't watch my videos anymore. And, yeah. <laughs> they stop watching our shit, our low grade 1970s Dude, weed. It's cut. It's, it's, a, it's cut with filler and garbage. I this is pure just, dopamine. Yeah, yeah. I feel like the cool things you can do with AI are not what people are doing with AI. That's how I feel. Well, it's because it's, it's, it's like literally not no, what's they, making they are, the money. But it's, nobody's looking at it because... They got 50, gets, they got other cool yeah, stuff to watch to look at buried under the cat with the bloody nose yeah. content. Maybe I just I think there it's again a transition period where a year from now or two years from now or whatever it is the internet will have been so flooded with this shit yeah. that we will then have a we will like everybody will grow overflow. up yeah and and everybody will have a sort of um, identifier for it right it's like you yeah. said this you're starting to get like you're seeing this stuff or you're seeing even you know angry scam content or whatever like we all yeah. start to pick you see enough of it yeah. and so what's going to happen is you're going to need like the human beings who make interesting things are going to rise to the top. Yeah, I, think. All, I think so you know too. People are going to like crave right? originality. Yes. It's going to be okay, almost so, like, a, like a nostalgic thing is like you know like just the the creator next door kind of person you know like oh just like some dude Wait, guy in his the garage creator next door yeah yeah girl next door back door scientist <laughs> like of... cody's lab people are gonna start watching cody's, cody's lab. lab next that would door be great i think that would be good for society <laughs> <laughs> the only way they know you're real creators if you also have an only fans because you can't generate nudity with Oh, yeah. Wait, you have it's like point. it's like uh, anal verification. You have to show your butt. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like a retinal scan except your butt. It's your anus. Yes. It's your anus, dude. That's pretty smart, actually. I I have one hope. Like my my kind of only positive outlook on a lot of this is that um, imperfection and like shittiness will become the filter where it'll be more obvious. Like I think the thing AI is bad at is replicating kind of like grunge or imperfections yeah. in like video and audio. And I, I think that people will get sick of stuff that feels too clean. I'm hoping that's my yeah, only Cause hope. it's like, you know, you want the, uh, the originality kind yeah, of exactly. like the authenticness. You of want the bad parts of it. Cause it makes it feel more real and more authentic. It's like getting yeah. nicer cameras and nicer equipment and blah, blah, blah. It's almost never the right answer. Cause mm. people like, it to feel relatable and i think ai does a really bad job of that i think ai is bad at representing individuality and yeah. that's again where i yeah. think mm -hmm. it's going to go towards is more and more you you it's you know right now you can make a living just producing generic documentary travel vlog mm -hmm. footage or whatever and that won't be the case anymore like if it's generic stuff that will get replaced by just a bunch of ai generated shit but if you are really uniquely a person and you express that somehow that can't be generated by AI because by definition it wasn't trained on your stuff and your data yeah uh, until it is and then you have to innovate again <laughs> but as long as you're cont consistently innovating so that's and that's kind of terrifying that probably for all humans will have to be extremely innovative at all times yeah. because otherwise AI 
after a short period, we'll learn Catch what it's out. doing yeah. and replicate it. But if you are original and you're creative, which is what I think we as humans do, and that's our whole thing, we imagine new things. If you lean into that, then you can create something that stands out and is successful within this ecosystem. Even though, again, it is terrifying. Right. Yeah. I think this all this all is terrifying. I just I, I do think there's silver linings to it, and that individuality will be like mega enhanced by this. Mm -hmm. I heard, Ironically, by there being way way more of mm -hmm, everything. Yeah. I heard Shania Twain. Uh, she just released a new song like about hearing a song on the radio that sounded like hers and it was about like AI basically like taking her style yeah. and like undercutting her. And so she made a song about it and I'm just like, well, that's just more training data for the AI. Yeah. 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 The AI is like, I would like to apologize. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the food. <laughs> Are you are you gonna be at Open Sauce? I am. Yes, that's Thank very God. cool. What, Alan's what? the only professional here. <laughs> open. Oh, you're talking about Open Sauce 2024 Holy on July shit. 15th yeah. through 19th. Uh, no, completely June, wrong date. June, <laughs> June, oh my God, June. But, but uh, also, uh, don't you, come on those you days. You sell tickets for July also, but they just don't go anywhere. And I'm here in LA, that. so I'm local to Open Sauce. I'm really excited to to just yeah, like drive over there. Open Sauce is happening in uh, uh, Mexico this year. <laughs> <laughs> More people can die. Guam, that way. <laughs> open sauce Guam. Yeah, because <laughs> July is one of the cooler months, so it's the perfect time to go. <laughs> when yeah. are we gonna get open sauce Tokyo? Open sauce Saudi Arabia. With Tokyo open yeah. sauce. Uh, North Korea. I think North once Korea. Saudi, Pyongyang. Saudi Aramco presents At the Pyongyang Event Center. <laughs> Everyone keeps asking for like an open sauce in the middle of nowhere that no one gives a shit about. <laughs> What if it was like Burning it, Man? That's it. never gonna happen. Why not? Why? Why, why would want nobody wants to go to Waco, Waco Texas? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <laughs> is the house still there? Uh, no, they the probably demolished it. <laughs> it's probably housing development, actually. Maybe I don't know, but wherever it is, there's gonna be an open sauce at it. What, what if you just do like uh, like how Maker Fair did, where it's like you license the name so that anyone can do an open sauce, and then it can be you know you can have your Waco Texas open sauce. You know what's funny about that is some of those like the Italian licensed Maker Fair is better than the actual Maker Fair, <laughs> and they're like trapped at this point because they like have to use it. <laughs> that sounds like a really good business model sounds for like a, a license. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, everyone gets mad at it's in San Francisco too. Like, well, I say everyone. It's like some local minority. Oh, just why? Because there's poop everywhere. Oh, and it's not abortions. that bad. There's way worse. Things. Yeah, it's <laughs> not bad. I love it. San Francisco is the best. Where, where were you in San Francisco when you lived there? Uh, you want like my address or? Yeah, I mean, yeah, at this yeah. point you could give it away, right? One, two, two, five. I forget what street. It was a street though. There's only there's that only a couple there. of those. Two, two, five. There you go. San Francisco. Yeah. Is it like an apartment or a house? It's an apartment. Okay. Yeah. They'll... That narrows it down too. I to find it. Uh, it's not that. Bad. I do still have DNA on the walls in there, so that is That's a little concerning. That's interesting. Kind of I hit it. What kind For of future DNA? generations. Where? What? Actually, never mind. <laughs> I'm just gonna assume the worst. <laughs> I mean, if how often do people really clean the corners behind toilets, you know? No, not a lot. And if you put a lot of blood there. Okay. <laughs> oh, I was thinking of panspermia. I was sure it was okay, calm. Okay, never mind. Mm. Whoops. Okay. What happens when you pee? How many times do you shake? <laughs> speaking, <laughs> speaking of pee and toilets, I've been holding on to this one for a while. Oh, there we go. You're not taking the mic with you? Why? You got to piss? You got to piss Share on it. camera. Did you bring it up for the glass? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You better bring back a carbonated glass of piss for us. You didn't bring your piss jar. Yeah. Okay. Wait, Kevin had the. We have to do the 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 people were asking what exhibit they should bring. Oh fuck. Um. Well. well away from the okay. Piss. But uh, did you, what are your what what kind of stuff are you doing with ChatGPT now? I am making a lot of web apps that then I use to uh put my viewers through torture scenarios that's good so the most I love, that's like absolutely the best way to do anything it's oh, like it's abusing great using the poor 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 gpt yeah and the poor viewers yeah <laughs> everybody's kind of abused yeah, yeah. In, the, in the situation but and, but they seem to love it for some reason which is sick good for i don't know if there's if that's bad sign about them a good sign about me bad sign about everybody involved a bad, involved, yeah. uh, bad sign about the youtube algorithm why yeah. it's showing it to people yeah. Yeah. a lot of questionable behavior everybody's happening. sick yeah um yeah i did like a stream where it's just if you say another person's name 
they get banned. Uh, <laughs> which is, cool. I call it the Dark Forest stream, which is basically like if you reveal that you're there yeah. by attacking somebody else, you immediately get sniped, right? Uh, so it just becomes a weird mind game. And what was funny about that is then I can play video games in peace. Nobody was talking about <laughs> my Hollow Knight gameplay. Nobody cared. They were just killing each other. That was like five hours. I didn't have to do anything. Wow. <laughs> just set it up. Yeah, it's great. That's smart. And so ChatGPT, like, taught well i learned how to do web apps and then i'm like hey this is how i want to modify it it gets the framework done and then i that like rough draft you you know convert into something i because michael and i had this idea a long time ago we were trying to get like alexa or google to sponsor us with uh the google home or what is like the alexa what do they call those the google nest maybe or i think it's what was it's the amazon through, line? oh that's alexa amazon oh, they just alexa. call it amazon alexa as the product i think so I think so Okay. Yeah. Um. And so we like sent them like a Alexa buy hentai heroes four through ten <laughs> of recurring purchase v VHS buy subscription now. buy now. All right, we we just had to get that out of the way. <laughs> Cancel uh, Lord's mobile pull, subscription. Pull, pull up the the uh, uh, exhibitor. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so my friend well, has some. Wait, 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 wait. I was say get it ready because we're we're doing a thing. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh. I think they can do that with ChatGPT now, what Michael and I were trying to do, where you basically are like like getting this home assistant to literally control a car with you from like high level statements. Yeah. So like, oh, you, you, like imagine oh sitting in the back seat. This is, an, an, I think we, there was, this is another pitch. Do I remember? Yeah, it was like a idea. TV thing where it was going to be me, you and Jabril. Jab yeah. and we're all going to come up with a shitty way of self-driving a car. Yeah, that was one of the kind of the brainstorm sessions we had. And yeah. so it's like you could literally say like, like sit in the back seat. Yeah. And you just say, uh, turn left, turn a little <laughs> bit less left. Yeah, yeah. And you're like trying to like verbally instruct the car mm -hmm. to, to drive and like go around obstacles. Yes, that is doable right now. There are models. Yeah. Like, wow. That's insane that's that you cool. can do that right now. Like that's crazy. That's not that crazy. That's super. The I fact that's that you, we crazy. could literally do, we could probably write that in like less than half a day. Like the basic, like. Yeah. Actually, yeah. that's like, like that's insane. Like that would have taken like how much money was dumped into, you know, <laughs> Google Home and Alexa to yeah. get something that responds half the time and then is used as a kitchen timer. Yeah, it's a little wild because now I mean, I learned about this recently. Do you know Hugging Face? It's like a website of because I, I don't know Face. if you guys do oh. that much software, but no, basically no. all of these different people, all these different companies are, are training models. And some of them are like ChatGPT, which is this proprietary thing you have to pay for and, and yeah. who knows how it works. Um, but then there's these just websites where people just share them. And so you can go <sighs> on Hugging Face and it's, you just search like, you know, I want a model that can take a phrase and uh, condense it into basically translate that into one of a preset list of commands so it's what you're saying right you tell these are all the things you could do with the car and it's going to translate whatever you're saying however you set it and map it to one of those you things you can make a calculator one plus one one plus two <laughs> right yeah 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 one plus three a language <laughs> model calculator <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> well i mean it's already do like you can ask it math questions already right and like like chat gpt will give you an answer that's not based off of that's the problem it's not based yeah, off they, of they don't actually know how to do math yeah. yeah it's literally just what the probability numbers. that it's correct yeah. is like <laughs> yeah. somewhere how, how do you train a model through machine learning no 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 i mean like like the like the gpt training a model like how because you can take it and you can make your own so how oh, there's a there's a bunch, right? There's for the most part, company the the ecosystem right now is that companies are making an LLM, which you can then fine tune and additionally train on your own stuff. So but you're taking like a base model and then it's retraining it based off of yes. So you can have something. Data? Yeah, exactly. So okay. you like Minstrel is one of the companies that's putting out AI models. So you can take that and then you have it do a bunch of additional training where you say, okay, here's your kind of like initial understanding of how to answer things, of yeah. how to relay information. Here's a thousand examples I have of how I would expect the conversation so kind of like to go. It already understands like English and how to talk. Yes. And then you can give it more specific instructions. Yes. So like an idea I have that I'm going to do is I'm going to train it how to talk like Twitch chat. Uh, and then I can have this model that replicates a bunch of like deranged messages. Right. And what you're doing is you're basically saying you understand English. Now I'm going to teach you this specific way to answer and respond to things. Yeah. Um, so and that's can, one can way to do just it. Do that like with open like in the open AI. Yep. There's just like it's called fine tuning. Tuning. that's just a system they have it's there's an api for it it's is it only through the api it's, it's they also have a website but you know there's there's all so these companies what, are doing what do you stuff feed like it this. just like a transcript of the chat you would basically you basically feed it example conversations right because all it's doing is you ask a question and it gives it predicts what the response is right mm -hmm. so 
if you want to train it to, I don't know, generate YouTube video ideas or something, it's going to be okay at that to start because it's trained on all of English or whatever. And then you could write, you basically want to create data that is the type of thing you want. So you create a hundred examples that are, this is the question I'm asking about for what I want from a YouTube video or idea. This is the type of answer I would like to mm -hmm. see. So you're tre treating it like this is a correct yeah. answer. So like uploading like transcripts of a, of a popular video. Yes. If you wanted it to mm -hmm. learn how to replicate things like that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And you basically say, write me the transcript for a YouTube video in this style on this topic. You feed it the answer and then you do that as many times as you possibly can. And mm -hmm. then there's the correction part of the training, which is then you have it. You basically have it give answers and you say that was wrong in this way. And then they all have different ways of adjusting from there. That's where like the, the human part of it comes in. That's bizarre. So you're like you're taking like a model, like an already trained model, and then it's like training a secondary model. Like or is it just like adding another layer? Like what a weird or is it like it's like you have a baby who oh yeah who you like train to, going and you, <laughs> and you train make the baby make another baby uh, yeah and then you <laughs> you teach the baby to do certain tricks and well this is not a good example because baby has free will and um you know consciousness and, and all so that are, like but, the two like networks merged or is it like two separate networks it's a single network that already has learned this is what we think is the ideal answer and yeah. response for many different things in a, you know to massively oversimplify it and you're basically saying okay here are these additional specific ways that i want you to respond to certain types of questions okay. so you end up with like one blob of a one blob where a small part of the blob is specific to what you want okay. or you can do full-on machine learning and create your original thing from scratch mm -mm. Um, but at this point it's easier to fine tune a model is my okay. limited understanding i'm How? not an expert on this how big is like is chat gpt it's something well nobody knows they stopped publicizing it so it's, hmm. it's definitely hundreds of billions or definitely uh and then supposedly with chat gpt5 they're going or for gpt5 they're going for trillions but of, of what trillions of what Gigabytes? Uh, inputs um i guess like nodes just, it's or something? To tokens i believe is the metric um which essentially is word count like every episode okay. of one piece essentially yeah so wow. you know they so have it, like it references all of this data Every time it makes a response, it like has this kind it's of like, like a Planko machine. You like drop your yeah. marble in and it just sort of ping pongs around and then they they shave down the the spikes so that they plank it in a better direction. And, <laughs> and I don't think. It, but it, then like the actual code itself probably isn't. It's just it's, that it's, complicated. It's the most complicated it, interpolation. Like if you have two points, you can draw a line between them. Mm -hmm. Now imagine adding like, a, I don't know, many, many dimensions on top of that. And so your line is going in a way that you can't even comprehend. Like you're literally, it's like drawing, it's like interpolating a horrible math problem. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's just crazy. We don't know how they work. We like, we yeah. don't know how it arrives at the answer. The way that it's basically, it turns out if yeah. you give this, if you give a machine learning problem, basically all of the English language, it is apparently really good at predicting whatever you want anything you ask it it yeah. just knows what humans would then say well, and it was we don't actually know how it's working it's we almost just like you had to keep coming up with different prompts in order to like get the result that you wanted out of it That's and like training, that yeah. that just no like mm. like writing the software right it's like yeah. you're trying to figure out how to do that by like doing different things on software and then like eventually just figure out a way so, where it gives you what yeah. you want. So the, cr the crazy thing is right now, the, the only thing that is consistently making it better and more accurate is more data. That is by yeah. far the best indicator of how high quality the answers are, how mm. qu high quality the model is. And so it currently is just this race to get as much data as possible. And that's why you're seeing things like Elon stopping access to the Twitter API yeah. because they were using that to train because of like, of course, that's mm -hmm. a massive, massive, massive amount of data. And now that is going to become super valuable. Like Google is not going to allow people to scrape YouTube for all that stuff because that's going to put them for in a, all the data that they developed and published. Right. So it's it's like a crazy race right now. And and there's it's obviously there's going to get more sophisticated algorithms in terms of how to process that data and how to reason. And that's where you get into like really, really, really smart machine learning scientists and whatnot, which is certainly beyond me but well, it sounds like there's a new job in the future then for like like syntax farms of like just paying people to just write things just that like write things exists. that that's, make sense that's called captcha 
Oh, oh shit. <laughs> yeah. But like, like, it's like, what if it was like more write like a, a sentence, diary? Like write, you have to write that, a journal. Explain of what's what this picture right is in a single sentence in order to prove you're human. <laughs> yeah. Should this car turn left in this situation? Yeah. Please, yeah, yeah. You have you one must, second must, to answer. One second. <laughs> Every which, AI goes through a driving dir- test. Which direction should this car be turning right now? You have one you second. A video. I created a. a, a a capitalist AI telescope. <laughs> <laughs> Every capture the human does is you are deciding where a person's car goes yeah. right now. Yeah. Should this car break right now? Yes or no? It's yeah. like it's just it's like you it's see a, a light. Feed. There's like a kid. There's like two lights heading at the. It's like it's like a one second long gif, and you see a, a person just going. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. There you go. That's a self driving car. Yeah, you want to read the uh, exhibitor request? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So my friend has some uh, some ideas for an exhibit at Open oh Source. All right. Let's and see. they're all they're all accepted, by the way. Whatever they are, I don't know what they are. Well, but they're accepted. Some of them are better than the others. You, you, in yeah. my I'm the guest. I get final say on this. Exactly. Right? Yeah, you get final yeah, say. Yeah, final word. No, Doug no, gets the final. You're basically say. God right now. Okay. So one of them is they've well, been Doug's growing bi- bioluminescent God. mushrooms. That's one of them. Okay. Bioluminescent mushrooms. Is one of the exhibits the whole thing moves to Waco, Texas? Yes. <laughs> Teleporting open sauce to Waco. Um, so let's see. They've been making like growing bioluminescent mushrooms in like That's petri cool. dishes so you could like see the glowing like you'd have to put your head in a box and wait for your eyes to adjust. <laughs> I would spores. I would deep uh, breathe deep I would yeah. I would want to breathe the spores I want to become another one is a <laughs> is a crank powered Jacob's ladder so it's like a motor that you basically have to spin and it makes like a high voltage arc that travels up that's, how, that's how, cool I don't how know old if that is would this work, person that's cool old enough to legally a- apply how you know, what's the age that you said that at? How what's the I there if they're under 18 the they have to have like a uh, has to be like a No, they're, they're not under 18. Well, the problem is like when when I've been going through the applications like you see something that is like questionable, especially like high voltage stuff and you're like okay, like how old is this person? Is this like a 40-year-old dude or is it like a 17-year-old kid? If it's like a 17-year-old kid who's made some high voltage thing, that scares me a lot more. Mm. No, no, it's like but in general yeah yeah I, the high voltage is like that one's tough because you kill i mean somebody. if you just put it inside of like a, a fish tank or something you can't well that's the problem is then you gotta is this person do you believe them enough to be able to do it in a way that is safe yeah what's the other what's the last idea um there's one called Voices in the Radio, and it says, We make some artisanally insane chat agents by abusing their LLM fine tuning process, overturning our models with incongruous combinations of text. You know how you know they use chat GPT to write that message? I know. <laughs> Who uses corpus? Incongruous. What is, what's corpus? It's like a body of text or something. Corpus? Yeah. I think corpus. a pile of corpus in yeah. the garage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they talk to each other over radios. An ESP32 uses an FMIC to cast audio received by our Bluetooth to the various radios corresponding to each model, and they all talk to each other. They have like radios set up like you know boom boxes all around and they talk to each other basically and then there's like a, a laptop with the discord server open that's you can talk to them I think too i i, I kind of like that idea uh the radio one i i think i'm not sure if it's a good idea for open source but like imagine creating a chat gpt war zone where you can literally like hear a war going on over the radios <laughs> and you can like call in and like say something of like oh, yeah. I need support oh, in yeah. this airstrike and then yeah. you get to hear the results. And there's of like it. a whole narrative that like is dynamically happening based <laughs> off of what the other radios are saying to each yeah. other and what you're yeah. inputting into it. Um I feel like it would be really annoying. <laughs> Unless it was like headphones only. God, that I, would be cool if, if you had a project like that and it was like con- entirely self-contained into like a big walkie talkie. Yeah. So it's like like you just have like mm. a magic walkie talkie that lets you play this like this interactive voice only game. Mm. That's, mm. That, 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 would, that would have been a cool like Hasbro toy or something. It would like, kind of had be funny to have them be able to talk and like talk to each other and just kind of go down some rabbit hole. You could. Yeah. I wonder what kind of weird scenarios you could give it, where you're just like you're you're feeling like you're the it, combatant is coming, but you're feeling horny. <laughs> 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 poor chat GPT is like smoke coming out. Of it. <laughs> what do I say next? They had another idea to bring. It was it's a desktop sputtering machine, like a plasma oh, sputterer. So that, it's like that seems cool. Yeah, that's yeah. what I said. But yeah. they're like, no, I want to do like do this. They already this, have all this uh, stuff. Yeah, they do. Why don't they just bring it all? Like they can apply. That's what I said. I yeah. said just if you have a bunch of projects, just like apply all the stuff apply that you've been with working one on. Exhibit. Well, yeah. yeah. Which in, Doug gets to decide which one. Oh, so yeah. which of these coolest? ideas is this person going to apply with? 
I don't even know what a Jacob ladder is. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I don't like mushrooms. I don't think they taste good. I so hate mushrooms I like too. the I like the war time. The idea that you can walk into a corner of the convention and you could say, "Have them run out of the trench," yeah. and then and then later after open sauce, there's like a summary of the war and oh. all the generals are listed of every person who contributed a line, and you get to see this extremely deranged warfare. But I, that's that's what tickles my brain. The other mm, two like are, are awesome. Could, like fulfill your weird like World War Two fantasy. <laughs> right, right, right. Like everyone like you could like LARP. the open sauce version of yeah. the World War II history and yes. then you see what happened. That yeah. might not be good. There, yeah. Somebody. No, I think that's that's it's exactly like, what, it's like yeah. it's like you walk up and there's somebody on the radio like private, private, get on the radio. Right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> private, yeah. private, show me your private. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it, the horny yeah, yeah. Yeah. The French are too horny right now. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta retreat. <laughs> I'm trying what other horrible soldiers could you make? <laughs> Soldier that keeps trying to shoot with his gun pointing towards them. <laughs> It's like, uh, is does this like find the the T T ninety in this photo <laughs> and then like you click on it, yeah. <laughs> point the turret of your tank backwards to go faster. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's like a catch but it's like find the tank in this photo and then you click on it, <laughs> yeah. and then like you see a live feed of like it just exp- like a drone flies in and it blows up. <laughs> I I think that's I think there's something there might be a delay in the radio idea, but I feel like that would be really cool, honestly, right? Like having or like, the desktop like just being able to listen to it, like get rid of all the visuals and just do it over radios with all the distortion and everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How loud, how fast could you make that? A couple would, seconds in between responses, which I think would be realistic. Mm. You just have like ambient, like war noises in the mm. background. Yeah. Mm. How would you make war noises for an AI thing like that? Would you, would you try to trigger stuff based off of like, would you have like a high level, like narrative of like, there's one GPT that's like making the, like battlefield things that are happening mm. and then there's like certain when certain events happen like the soldier is told like a bomb just went off in the background i think you'd have uh, to train it on a bunch of onomatopoeias that sound sort of like something on the text to speech you're using so you just like train it to be like like oh so it's like a guy saying that well i don't know how else you would make those sounds the russian subway surfer <laughs> the GPT would like signal like I want an explosion to happen right now, and then it would just like yeah, you could it, train would, it, it, it would order an audio file text <sighs> response. Yeah, it, it has like you know put in parentheses artillery explosion here, and yeah. then the program would Random translate that explosion. into audio. Yeah, yeah. So you have a preset, and list. then it would like signal to all the other ones that like an explosion has gone off. Yeah, so and all then, of them could share the same yeah. data or whatever. Yeah. It's like, it, it, I mean, that could be really simple in that you just have four GPTs that are talking to each other and just yeah. adding answers to it. You could have a, a, an additional one that is like the storyteller who is narrating and like kind of mm. yeah. doing the overarching story of it and then could That's interject cool. and say, OK, for this next part of the battle, two of you guys need to use, you know, whatever meme gets introduced. You know, yeah, these yeah. two, uh, you are now the hentai Holland or whatever. Yeah. And you you have five <laughs> minutes to paint SpongeBob the on the cat front girls of your bomber. Are, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the yeah, Japanese yeah. cat girls are attacking it in a massive yes. way. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, somebody stop them. Yeah. <laughs> They're taking no prisoners. <laughs> You're painting naked SpongeBob on the front of your what's the World War II plane? Uh zero. <laughs> your zero. <laughs> I don't Mustang. know anything. I feel like Kevin would probably know the most of a B fifty two flying B fifty two bomber with a naked SpongeBob on the front. <laughs> Use the pe- pedo tube as the as his penis. And, and this is all audio, right? Like, yeah, it's all audio. <laughs> and so they're just like, screaming, like I'm almost done trying SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be pretty fun if you're the yeah if you're the like person at the exhibit who walks by and you just hear the update yeah. of like SpongeBob is now written on the B two bomber. <laughs> <laughs> We're dropping onto the anti soldiers. <laughs> What's going on? The war. I got my leg blown up. <laughs> Yeah, it's interspersed with like horrifying graphic injuries. Yeah, but also hentai SpongeBob. I would yes. want. I would. I want to bring the, the magic school bus into it. Like Miss Frizzle oh. went on a time travel trip to teach yeah. the kids about World War II, and right. she just pops in there. I would want to add that, dude. I think this. That's this is like a good <laughs> like. I think this is like what man. How much like GPT video game stuff is happening? Because I think there's like something so potentially cool in like these narratives that are that are dynamic and changing. 
it's that is a, my understanding is that's very emergent like yeah. that's very uh, emerging I think that's right what now. everybody's trying to do right yeah. now yes. that it's is like what everybody's trying to content figure out and the, movies and tv shows even yeah mm. like the, yeah. the common thing that is is rapidly being introduced into games where people are talking about it is that the characters will generate the responses yeah. using AI. Like, but I, that's very different from like the whole narrative arc is right thoughtfully and that gets back to like the human element i think humans are always gonna be way better at that and yeah. then that you can like hey I'm designing this character, this character, this character, this character as AIs. I'm going to kind of like direct this overall. Right. Because then it's more like you're like doing this like kind of weird role play game, yeah. which is like a TV show is, is fucking stupid because you're just watching yeah. it. Like the whole I think the AI is perfect in a scenario where you're like participating yeah. hmm. because then you can create this dynamic situation like that feels a super appropriate or use of like it. imagine yeah. getting getting the new halo game and it's literally like never ending like you yeah. just keep playing like brand <laughs> cortana new, you brand know what new, brand new wait shit there's already a halo infinite yeah, uh cortana halo, been bad. Tell me been bad. <laughs> <laughs> i i i where the, i mean hey, cortana, <laughs> cortana yeah, you're what's... my mom and uh you <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's the thing is, wouldn't, wouldn't a lot of these just kind of, you know, all turn a certain way if we just people just were allowed to do whatever? No, you're just sick. Kinda, you're just sick. It would yeah. just hey, all sick. turn into, as long as people are paying a monthly subscription yeah. to play. <laughs> yeah. Cortana stepsister simulator. Microsoft doesn't care. Cortana, you're trapped in the network <laughs> uh, or stuck or whatever. Uh, no. <laughs> I don't care. Just uh, uh, call uh, me out, step chief. Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> nobody nobody would have sex ever again because everyone would have access to Halo Infinite porn Infinite where they can Cortana <laughs> ass. What are the little like little aliens called? Grunts. Grunts. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say anything. Oh, All I asked is what they were called. Oh, I didn't say anything no. beyond that. You're sickos. Oh no. Well, if Microsoft <laughs> wants to give us a bunch of money, we have a really good idea for that. Uh, yeah. I want I want to fuck the rings. <laughs> 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 or or something like that. <laughs> you figured out Cortana. <laughs> Cortana. <laughs> Make the ring smaller and be bigger. I don't care. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, uh, yeah. Oh, 50. Wow. That's been a lot. Um, I think we can... <laughs> oh, yeah. Exer applications are due by June 27th. <laughs> We've kind of got two narratives about when the applications are due. I sort of want to say they're due now to get people to actually submit them. Yeah. Uh, they're due on May 1st. There you go. Okay. All right. Yeah. May 1st. If you do not submit your application by May 1st, you have no guarantee that we'll even respond to you because we need time to process everything. So if you submit it by May 1st, you will hear back from us. If you're after that, then up in the air who knows yeah they might put you next to the bathrooms next to the bathrooms like the smash the, yeah, the, the smash rooms. Yeah, the, tournament. the smash tournament um anything you want to promote no that's see that's legend i love doing that too <laughs> we haven't even we haven't even said my name my channel name at any point yeah we did we did yeah dog 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 dog, 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 dog oh yeah, dog, yeah dog, sorry sorry dog, we did dog, talk about dog, it. we dog, i mean dog, it was dog, sort of dog. indirectly yeah yeah no i don't care we can put some text on the screen some number of the word Doug, dog. Doug, 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 Doug. Just pick, pick any amount. If you literally yeah. could we'll put Google it back at the beginning. search <laughs> Doug like th more, two times, three times, four times. Five it's times. only one Doug DeMuro beats me. So I am still working on the number one Doug slot. Yeah. But I've got two through five Dougs <laughs> locked in. <laughs> you f how many, how many, four channels? Is uh, yeah, four. Wow. Doug, yeah, that's Doug. too many channels. So is there so one with five Doug, Dougs? Doug. No, I, I, I'm like getting there emotionally okay what do you how do you separate everything dog dog confusingly the first is i have a main the channel shittier the video is like the more so dogs it three. goes on kind dog, of dog yeah. dog it's okay. you know it's main yeah. channel and then like most that's people why it's not just dog because you haven't made a video good enough for single dog well there's dog there's dog dog which is the main one and there's dog 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 which is the classic youtuber thing of oh god i feel like my videos have to be too good i want a place yeah. where they aren't as good yeah uh and then there's dog 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 which is community memes and vods and then there's dog dog clips which we really should rename to doug yeah okay like because it's short right right right, right. and it, oh, technically it technically dog, the yeah. videos Duh. do get longer the more dogs there are so that would fit have you considered doing only a partial dog like a like duh do do i haven't dog zero Duh. A dog minus one. <laughs> is there dog. dog? No, dog. Could you check real quick? Dog? Is there a YouTube channel called D? 
I guarantee it. <laughs> like, uh, my magnum opus will release there. When I'm done and I've made, uh, like, a 16-hour documentary. It's definitely taken. I bet you there's nothing on it. It hasn't been used, and you probably could commandeer it if you tried hard enough. Okay. Okay. One day I will ascend to D. I am D. Big D. Do we have a D? Is it? The verdict. The verdict. The Just, verdict. like, click on a channel and, Just like, Just type in youtube.com slash D. Slash D. In youtube.com slash It's, like, slash U slash D. You can just do slash. Oh, can you? Yeah. Okay. Or at D. No, youtube.com slash at D. Slash at D. Uh, there's Nothing. no at D. What about just youtube.com slash U slash D? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it funny how we don't actually know how to do this? Like uh, this? Eh. I, I don't know. User. This channel does not exist. Oh. Okay. So D is available. This is nuts. It might, maybe, is there any rule for character length? Like, do you need to have no, more than one I don't character? Think so. Okay. Of all D's the stupid rules then. that they have, I can't imagine that. D is definitely taken. There's no way D is free. I'm going to have to pay good money for that. No, no, no. You could, if it's not being used, you could, you can push. You think nobody ever has had the idea to make a D named YouTube channel? No, but you could commandeer it. Oh, oh, right, right. Yeah. If you say you want this and you go to the right person, you can, mm. they can, you can. I get, it kind of looks available. Yeah, you might be able to get it. If, if there's like, if nobody single... currently has it, yeah, and it's you, you can you can definitely get it. There you Hell go. Yeah. All right. Thanks everybody on Patreon. Uh, that's literally the only way this podcast happens. At first, we did it without spending money, and now we spend money. It's not a lot of money, but literally, not no joke. If if you guys didn't support us on Patreon, we wouldn't do this podcast because it just it literally just everything goes into paying for the podcast it's not a joke it pays for the red bull and the i editing. did have one a red yeah. bull yeah i can yeah. confirm they I, they gave me a drink i just drank piss i didn't yeah. drink a red bull now i know we could save money by making our own red bull but last <laughs> <time>. <laughs> yeah. infinite red bull glitch yeah <laughs> alan drinks it yeah <laughs> what, what's the extra uh, q a Q&A. if you want a q a it's basically an extra 30 minutes of this dog shit <laughs> head over to patreon